Have you been naughty or nice this year? Well, don't worry, we're not checking our list twice this holiday season. Because at Texas Card House, it pays to be playing poker with us. The naughty or nice bad beat is here. Under the tree, you'll find a jackpot starting at $20,000 that rises each day. With the qualifying hand getting easier and easier to beat. No one goes home with a lump of coal. Instead, everyone gets cold hard cash in your stocking. Everyone checked in and playing at any Texas card house wins $100 when the naughty or nice bad beat hits. Sorry, Auntie May, your fruitcake can't compare to the naughty or nice bad beat. Spend your holiday season with us at Texas Card House and win. The Texas Card House Naughty or Nice Bad Beat is here. It's Wednesday night. Uh, we are streaming on Tuesday night, but it's Wednesday night for y'all. I got Harris Cashin with us. Hi. Nice and, to be here. Uh, you know, I'm Derek. Uh, y'all might recognize Harris from the employee stream. So he, it, Harris is actually an employee here, dealer here at TCH. Um, obviously a regular player here, so we're going to get his insight in this awesome game tonight. Hope you all enjoy the action. All right, let's get to it. So we got the flip here, and it looks like Kim's going to have the absolute nuts here. 7-5 seven, is the nuts for Kim, and she's going to win this flip. Nobody's got 9-7. So for those of y'all that don't know, um, you know, for for those of uh, the viewers that don't know anything about you, Harris, uh, you want to give a little bit of background on you know how you got into poker, uh, maybe how you got into dealing, and uh, so yeah, on and so sure, forth. Yeah, sure, absolutely. I started playing poker, I guess, in 2016 when I turned 18. I was playing at Windstar in Choctaw, and then I w I played all the time I was in college. I went to Baylor University, and then I graduated in 2020, and then. I ended up working at TCH, and the rest is history. I've been here like two years, and it's been, you know, one of the best things that ever happened to me. So, and yeah, you like me, and actually, Co actually, all four of us here all started the cage. You yeah. Me, Tyler, and Cooper, all started working here in the cage. Started working as a dealer, and then, um, you know, me, Tyler, and Cooper got into the commentating, or not the live stream group, and uh, obviously, all of us play a lot as well. And yeah. I do spend the majority of my time just playing yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, some of our viewers might be all like, wait, I've never seen Harris deal with me before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am I am a dealer here at Texas Car House. <laughs> Why is it up to me? You guys, you guys do whatever you want. Because I say, what other games are there, and I see some juice in you. All right, let's see a flop. <laughs> so yeah, so I know, I, I, I understand that you've done the live stream commentary one other time. Um, <laughs> Long uh, time a ago, while yeah. Ago, so uh, I hope you're looking forward to it, man. And uh, it's a great group of players for you to commentate over, too. Yeah, I'm super excited to be here. I think Kim's probably going to take it down here. All right, Carlos going to see a turn. That's fine. Going to counterfeit Carlos. Jack High is going to be the best hand. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Absolute worst. Oh, interesting. Spicy lead out here from Carlos with the nut low. Takes it down. <laughs> oh, and he shows it. I love it. Oh, what a way to start. What a way to start our stream tonight. Carlos showing a bluff with deuces there. For those of you all that watched last night, we had a great three-hour stream. Uh, you're currently watching part two of our six-hour stream. So I hope you all are strapped in and ready to go. Um, we have some players that are stuck quite a bit and some players that are up quite a bit, so it's, it creates a very interesting dynamic for the second half. You know, and Harris, as a you know regular 2-5 player out there on the streets, some of these players you play with quite regularly. I, I do play with some of these players quite a bit, uh, but there are a few that I don't recognize. Yeah, Habib, OFC, and um, Carlos, they, they don't ever really play in a room on a normal schedule. They typically only play on our On the stream. Season. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. It's probably going to be a three bet. I was just going to call. Okay. Definitely think you could see an argument for Carlos to put in the three bet there. Um, but this is just a call with a strong ace-10. Go multi way. <laughs> oh wow, what a flop! Oh, oh my god, two players with trip queens and two, two players, players with flush draw. Oh my goodness. 
You know, and this might be, you know, Harris coming in the booth here, bringing some good juju here. Got some good setup flops, so you bring out some good action here. We got trips over trips, nut flush over five high flush draw. And we could see some money get in here. Carlos gonna go for the lead. And I'll be interested to see if Daniel decides to raise or just call. Yeah, it's, a, it's definitely an interesting point, right? Because, like, you know, if you raise here, your hand's quite face up. Uh, it's hard to have any bluffs here. Uh, but he might feel like Carlos could have a weaker queen occasionally. Yeah, you definitely are beating a lot, and you can balance this out maybe with a combo or a nut flush draw or something like that. Yeah, like 9, 10 hearts, check sure. 10 hearts, yeah. nut flush. He's going to go multi-way to the turn card here. Five of spades. No help to OFC or Carlos. Daniel, you said his name was? I only know what yeah. he's done. Okay, Daniel currently still the best hand. Probably going to bet again. What kind of sizing would you like to see Car uh, Daniel go with here? It looks like he's going to go about half pot. And it seems good to me. Don't want to fold out a hand like what OFC has or even what Carlos has. Yeah, I don't think AOC could do really anything but just call there. Trip's still too good to just fold out. And Carlos getting quite a price here to you know hit his nut flush. Might just have to be a little bit concerned about that paired board, but uh, is still drawing to the nut hearts. Wow, let, let it go. go. It's okay. some discipline fold there. Definitely might feel like someone at least has a queen out there. No, sorry, 32 oh, I OFC only has about. I'm sorry, I was talking. Did he raise? No, I, I, I think, I think she misspoke. Oh, okay. He oh, has. Wow. Oh, he's gonna river the chop. You know, they say everyone likes a chop pot, but Daniel's gonna hate this turn. Yeah. Or this river card. Yeah. Lost out on a lot of value, and it looks like OFC is just gonna. I guess. Yeah, this is all here. going in. River was a lucky card for me. I was hoping to Sean giving the speech, the post mortem. Uh, happily taking that chop. Done a little bit upset, but uh, obviously could have been a lot worse. Could have been a deuce. Will be a chop pot, chopping up Carlos's money. You know, I think I've mentioned this before when you were playing on the employee live stream. Uh, I don't know if you, you probably don't even remember, but we've definitely played before when we, we used to play at Windstar a lot. Um, it, it, like okay. A few times. Like you're few not times. the you're not the only person that told me that. Apparently, yeah. I also play with Sal a lot at Chalk Talk, yes, and sure. I have no sure. recollection of that whatsoever. <laughs> Yeah, I, the it, it it it's so wild what we can remember from poker hands, right? Like yeah. the amount of detail. It's like, man, I wish I could remember. I had that kind of uh, recollection when I was in college. Right? <laughs> it's like, I'm, sure, I'm sure you're thinking the same thing. But I remember a very specific hand from Windstar where you had like aces or something. We were playing on the same two five table. You had aces, and uh, I think three there were three diamonds on the board, and you flashed the ace of diamonds in the middle of the hand. Interesting. It, 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 was a weird, it was a weird hand where, I mean, I think this is obviously very early in your poker, very early in my poker, but I remember you flashing like the ace of diamonds, either trying to get the guy to fold like a weaker flush or something, and then he ended up calling you, and I was like, oh, okay, that was a hand. Oh. Do you actually remember that I do. He had, oh my, he, had, he had a jack high flush. He had a jack high flush, yes. yes. I do remember that's that. That's insane that you remember. His, his name is Doc. Yes. This yes. is a doctor. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, uh, Dunn has bottom set here. Oh, wow. Looks like he just called pre, and Kim opened it up. She's got a gut shot. She's going to bet into three players. Kim with a gut shot. Backdoor spades. Carlos is going to float here with ace high. Dunn with a decision here. Definitely got a check raise. It's probably the best hand we ever have. 
Maybe yeah. we have maybe we have nines because Kim opened so early, but yeah, definitely want to get more money in here when you have the set. Very likely someone who could have a straight draw or even top pair. So um, you know, very unlikely they're going to fold those kind of hands. Kim's got some back doors, but definitely an optimistic call if she makes it here, but. Uh, one blame here, they're both playing quite deep here, down with about 9.1k 9, 9 effective. And she likes to play some big pots. She's probably thinking, well, if I hit my 6 here, I could probably win a big pot against a set or two pair. But no, she's going to let it go, um, this one fold there. That should be it, yeah. Yeah, I do remember that hand. That's wild, uh, man. That's that's what it was like in 2018 or something. Yeah, it's been a while. That is wild. you actually remember that. It's just, that's yeah. like one of my like remembering points of like playing it, playing at the same table. As you. And then he, so he, I remember he said, um, "He's like, why would he show he, the ace of diamonds right. if he has so, the nut?" So I actually, I I I took that to heart, and so I have tried to on several occasions. Show the uh, the ace of diamonds when we have enough. <laughs> when flush. you actually do have yeah, the nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you got to balance it out, right? Looks like we got a double straddle on here to a hundred. Yeah, they they tip. They were playing for most of the night with uh, you know five ten in the quarter with a fifty dollar straddle. It looks like they're gonna have the hundred dollar straddle for a lot of the night. Okay, cool. Did you order from the same place? The isn't that crazy how we can remember something like that? <laughs> it's like yeah. all I did was mention the hand, the situation, the location, the stakes, and you're like, oh, yeah, I do remember that, actually. I'm still trying to forget. Oh, thanks, Derek. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You're, you're, your role's recovered by that. Yeah, hopefully. Top pair for a beep. Um, that's a pretty big size to use. So I'm just gonna take it down. Yeah, B plays a pretty. I mean, if you've seen if you've seen some of the stream, I'm sure you've noticed that B plays a very unorthodox strategy, unorthodox style. Now, uh, is this the guy that had pocket tons against Cashman? Have you seen this hand? Where Cashman had aces. And I think that was Chris. There's a Chris and then Habib. Okay. I, it might be Habib though. I, I can't. I honestly can't remember. I think it's Habib, but I'm not sure. It might have been. It might have been. The, the five bet jam with tens, and then uh -huh. Carlos folded kings, uh -huh. and then Cashman had aces. Uh -huh. It might have been the beep, actually. All right, so we're cheering for him tonight. <laughs> yeah, he, he gives some action, man. I mean, he has some fun on this table. Uh, I mean, the fact that players like, you know, Kim and Danny can get a seat on this table is just beyond me, but I'm, they're, gr they're great for the game as well. Kim going to squeeze here, I think. I might have gone a little bigger. <laughs> you know, with the likelihood that you're going to have at least someone defend their limp uh, and also being out of position, yeah. uh, you know, 450 would not have been insane, you know. Sure. That's, that's how deep everyone is. It's going to come ace high. Not a great flop for Kim's hand, but a good flop for her range. You can turn a lot of equity on a diamond, a seven. Any jack, any seven, any. And. A six, even. Zio six. Oh, he's super short. I didn't notice that. Yeah, he got stacked earlier um, in hand against Jonas. Uh, Jonas had quads, and Z06 had a boat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep, standard, right? Yeah. yeah. Kim V pipping the highest right now. Jay not too far behind. So what play? I, mean, I imagine the players you played against are like Jonas, Danny. Um, it's funny. I see Jonas every day. Okay. Um, but I still have not played against him yet. <laughs> but because he's always, he's, sometimes he's in the PLO and sometimes he's in the ten quarter, quarter. Yeah, you're which right. I'm not currently playing. So. <laughs> yeah, we just haven't crossed paths yet, but I'm sure we will at some point. But you've definitely played with Danny. And oh, I played and, quite and, a bit with Danny. And, uh, yes. Daniel. Yeah. 
Played a little bit with Daniel, yes. Um, I believe I played with Jay. Yeah, there's no way you have it. He'll hop into the 5-10 game or like two 5-10 games. And I have played some with Kim, but I've dealt to Kim more than I've played with her. I as well. I've also dealt and played with Kim, um, but it was like 90% I've dealt to Kim. <laughs> Jonas. Are you going to bet like 150, 100 bucks? Okay. That'll do it. From both yep. players. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you're tuning in right now, thank you all so much for watching our live stream. We got special guest commentator, Harris Cashin, dealer here at TCH, player here at TCH, and, my and I am Derek, of course, commentator here at TCH Dallas. You're watching this, uh, you know, on Wednesday. We're commentating this um, on Tuesday. Hope you all are enjoying the festivities with the ugly sweaters. I'm sure you already took a look at Carlos's sweater with OSV's face on it. I can't see it because he has his hands covering it, but I... You'll, you'll, have, okay. to, you'll have to see cool. it. <laughs> Danny going to open up the 10-9 suited. We're going to go four ways. Quite a flop here for Danny. Second pair for Jay, currently the best hand, but Danny with the best draw right now. Just gonna get a call from middle pair. I wonder if Danny's going to barrel. Might bet like a thousand here. That'll do it. You know, and this is our first time that we've had a stream longer. Or not, a, I guess I should say stream, but for these players to play longer than four hours. So it'll, okay. it'll be interesting to see how they adjust to the length of time. I know OC is just so used to playing the four hours and the dipping out. Same with Kim. Uh, well, I mean, she's used to playing long sessions. We see her in the room all the time. Uh, but yeah, typically, you know, a lot of the players only play for the four hours and then head out, at least for the Wednesday game. Uh, so it'll be, see how, it'll be interesting to see how they adjust. Yeah, I know you. Um, you know, Harris here has been mentioning me. He's been wanting to try to commentate every uh, every now and then, but he just said no cat, no no tournaments, please. <laughs> yes, <laughs> just, not, that's not your thing, right? <laughs> not my thing. Although I do hear that. Uh, they're doing some cool new things for tournament players yes. starting next year. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you heard, heard earlier, um, actually, no, that's a great point. I'll bring that up after this hand. For those of you that don't know yet, I'm going to flop top pair in a gutter. Second pair for OFC, gut shot for Habib. No, OFC is leading out here with. The second pair, Kim going to go nowhere. He's going to let go of the gutter. Ooh. Trips. Not the worst card for OC back. either. Nice check back. Great check. Yeah, great check back there from OC. You know, a great point to bring up Harris. Uh, you know, if you're a tournament player, I know Harris isn't really, but, you know, if you're a tournament player and like to play terms occasionally like me, um, we got a great rewards program starting uh, starting next year, starting 2023. Uh, 
free rolls every single quarter. That's right. You heard. Yeah, that's right. You heard right. A free roll every single quarter, and you can qualify for these free rolls every quarter by being the top scoring players uh, based on our daily tournaments. So for our daily tournaments, anytime you cash, you divide that cash amount by the buy-in, and that will give you the total number of points. And um, there's also another side to it. There's a uh, loyalty side of it. For every entry, you also get a point. So nice. the top players for the, um, you know, the cash amount and then the top players for the loyalty side of it will be entered in that free roll every quarter. That's awesome. You know, I know our tournament players here have kind of been waiting for some kind of, you know, rake back or promo for them. And uh, we finally got something for y'all. I know Eugene's been working on it for quite a while, so he's super excited for that starting next year. That's great. Jonas not going to set mine. Yeah, it's, just, it's kind of tough, right, as a tournament player. Uh, you know, you see that all the cash game players got that $35,000 bad beat jackpot yeah. and growing. And then you're just like, well, what do we get? You know, and there you are. There's your answer. A little something for everybody. Just in time for uh, for Christmas. For yeah, holiday just in time for Christmas. Season. You know, and that'll definitely go into play, of course, when we have our new location opening very, very soon. Um, you know, have, have, they put a, have they put a date on that? Yes, I, I, I did get word from Nick that uh, he gave me a date, and, you know, I guess I asked him if it was okay for me to give out more information. He's like, oh, yeah, sure, it's kind of out there already. Um, first week of February is what we're looking at. Wow. Yeah, so okay. a lot sooner than I thought. Okay, that's great. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, uh, brand new location will be opening up in the Las Colinas, Irving area. Um, you know, it's going to be Texas Card House, Las Colinas. About 15, 20 minutes away from here. A lot bigger room. Um, going to be have going to have a full bar, full kitchen. Uh, what I've heard, two golf simulator bays. So, you know, a really, really cool Okay, card room. Yeah. cool. Are you any good at golf? Uh, I can hold my own at the driving range, but I'm, I've never, I've only played nine holes. I've never I am, played a Okay, team. I am one of the world's worst golfers, actually. <laughs> okay. So I'll have to get in there and work on my swing. Yeah, I, I used to play a lot of nine holes at Lake Park with my dad. Uh, okay. In Louisville. Um, cool. And I, I'd go to the driving range a lot with him. You see Carlos's sweater now? I can. That is something else. <laughs> yeah, he, I, I saw him before the stream, and he was like, "Hey, hey, check this out. I'm not, I'm not going to do a big reveal yet, but look at this. I'll give you a little sneak peek." And I was like, "That is that is great. That is a great Christmas sweater, Carlos." That's the guy who hooked you up with the uh, yeah, the champagne, the gifts. Nice. And, yeah, shout out to him for that. Very nice of him. Yeah. You want us with the pocket threes again? You got to raise it this time. Definitely got to open the button with this. Oh, Ooh. wow. Okay, I think Jonas is going to peel this time because this is a pretty small size. Yeah, especially since it is, you know, out of position and, um, you know, he's getting great implied odds here if he hits a set. Absolutely. Not the flop he was looking for. Does not, but he does have a spade, some... Uh, Backdoor straight possibilities. And he gets to see a free card, so. Oh, oh on a okay. set for Jay. If he thought he was in trouble on the flop, he's got there on the turn. Jonas here, probably not going to pay any more money. Probably not. He's yes. already folded. Yep. Nice hand there for, you, for Jay. I've been here for about two years so what first got you into poker, Harris? I'm curious. Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess the earliest memory I have, they used to they used to put the World Series of Poker on ESPN. So I remember watching that as a child. The first year probably was 2012, what, whatever year Greg Merson won. Okay. That was the first time I ever watched poker on TV. Um, yeah, and I guess the... Uh, that's when my love for the game started, and then when I turned 18, I was very fortunate that in Oklahoma you can play at the age of 18. So, 
<laughs> the rest is history. <laughs> Danny got a three about this for sure. Yeah, it is open from the cutoff against a very strong opponent. Like the sizing here. Could argue for a little bit larger too, but that's like cutting. I think this is fine. Yeah. Oh. Wow, Jay with a hand here. This is definitely a cold forward spot from these positions, spot. Yeah, you don't really, really don't see Jay doing that much four batting, so I imagine yeah. to see him make the call. He, Maybe I can fold a lot I of time. I can tell from his body language that he... Um, he wants to fold, yeah. No, he'll make this face and then still still find the continue, but... He's not happy. I, I, I agree with you. I, he's probably going to call. Oh, he is going to let wow, it go. Wow, okay. okay. I, mean, I mean, I I thought that at first, but then, then when you started, I was like, oh, you know, you're right. You might, might just make the call here, but... Uh, yeah, just really didn't like it there. Jonas here in the cutoff here with eights. I think too strong here to let it go. Gets a competent opponent like Danny. And the, look at how deep they are. Oh my god! I didn't, crazy I didn't realize deep. how much deep how yeah. deep Danny bought him for. He only doesn't buy in that deep. Oh wow! What a cooler flop here. Oh, I wonder what size Danny will go with. Probably like six hundred. Five fifty, five seventy five, okay. It's price is right style, so you know. Wrong. No. Nope. <laughs> no, no, you got it. Six hundred dollar bet here. Over by Danny. one chip, my yeah. bad. <laughs> <laughs> by one big blind. Yeah. No, yeah, great sizing here from Danny, I think. Could get a lot of calls from weaker hands. Like uh, pocket eights. And could get even from some floats from some King High A side holdings. Sure, yeah. With when you have a like a backdoor nut flush draw or something, you're gonna have to peel one for the size. Now, unfortunately for Jonas here, he still has an overpair, and you know, if if he's been paying attention on any of our streams or been maybe even play with him in some of the bigger games, Danny's definitely capable of firing a second bolt here with just ace high. He's gonna go pretty large here. Oh, about half pot. Probably nothing to do here but just call again. Uh, we can look to fold some rivers maybe, but. Yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm with you. I like a call here, and then, you know, even if you still have an overpair on the river card, it's, you know, very tough for Danny to have, you know, some bluffs here. Even though, even though he could have a bluff, you have better hands that you can make a call with, right? Yeah. Sometimes you just have to fold the best hand. And, Move on to the next one, but I like a call here from Jonas. This would be a sick fold if that's what he's thinking about. Wow! Okay. Wow! Wow! Nice, very nice. Great fold there. He's gonna see the ten and then probably know that he made the great fold there. You gotta show the ten of hearts. Right. He right. showed the black ten. You gotta show the ten of hearts with the with Pick the, the hearts hearts turn. turn. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. it makes more sense. Ace ten of hearts. Jack ten of hearts. <laughs> wow, that's a. Would you would you air that on the side of like an exploited default there on the turn? Mm. It's, it's, it's pretty close, right? I mean, because overpair and positionally wise too. Maybe he uh, maybe he's got some stronger hands in his flatting range, and so he feels like eights is not strong enough, super high up. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, I. I probably would have called again. You know, I mean, I, I obviously I'm, I'm I commentated this over Danny a lot, and I see him, but you know, I've I've seen him triple barrel off with Ace King High, Ace Queen sure, High, and yeah. so I know he's capable of it. And so if that might have actually worked against Danny there, that maybe Jonas hasn't played too many hands with Danny and has less of a history with him. You know, and I just know for a fact if that was OFC, if that was Kim. Um, they're making that call on the turn. I, I think got the eights. That probably just means that he's just assuming the players are under bluffing until he has, you know, a reason to think otherwise. Which, uh, to be fair, that's probably a safe assumption in right, a lot right. of these games. It so. makes sense, though, right? I mean, it's it's yeah. it's that's the baseline, and then you adjust based sure. on the more hours you have with the players. 
You got a favorite sweater among the players so far? Um, okay, I like I like OFCs. That's solid, and I like um, Jonas's as well. Yeah, Jonas is like a solid ugly sweater, right? This, yeah, it has that like homemade look to it. And Daniel was wearing like a a vest thing earlier. Did you see this? Yes, he was. He was. Oh, that yeah. was hideous. It must have gotten a little that too was, warm. Oh man. Wow. Oh, okay. Just gonna make the light call and just flop two pair against top pair. Too much money? Could see some money getting here. So I'm gonna go for the check call. I think. It's a good play here from Dinah. You, you wanna have some stronger hands in your check call. And, oh, Ooh. wow. And that's gonna counterfeit Kim's two pair. Gonna give Dunn trips. Kim hates seeing that turn card. You know, though, Dunn could still have some hearts occasionally, so she might think her nine this will be, still be good. But once she gets called on this turn card, uh, she's very likely to just check back river. We may say, may see Dunn go for the leads on the river. Oh. Check, check, and that'll do it. Looks like OC's taking off. Or, oh no, uh, Habib is taking off. Yeah, I mean, Habib's used to normally playing the like four hour stream, so, and he does have a normal job, so I, I, gotcha. I, I'm sure he needs to head out. But a great win there for Habib. I think he's up about 6K, so great night for him. Nice. It's okay. I would love to see some uh, some shorthanded poker actually on stream. I think that would be a lot of fun. You, have you all ever thought about doing like a six max stream or something like that? It's happened like unintentionally in our two. Okay. Game four. It was like it was like Kyle, JD, Halley, Moneymaker, uh, Brian, and then. Um, and then like someone else, and I was like, yeah, "Oh, this is a great lineup." Yeah, I would love to watch game. that. I can't imagine. Uh, it was a great game. To yeah, watch. I can't imagine people would be lining up to hop in that lineup. No, no, though. no. Yeah, I'm all set. Not at all. But <laughs> the, the amount of four bet bluffs and five bet bluffs was awesome. Yeah, I would it was love to see. Great that. poker to watch. Oh, here's Steven. Mr. Delivery hopping in the live stream. I was on the list the other day for uh, 10:25, and they called my name. And he looked across the room at me and like put a thumbs up, and then I was immediately like, "No, I'm, <laughs> I'm good." <laughs> yeah, we we see Paul, we see Paulo, uh, uh, Mr. Delivery, um, McGrew, and then yeah, <laughs> yeah, Jonas. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay at my uh, two five game where I belong. Yeah, I saw McGrew hopped in there a few times, man. He's uh, well, that guy's on a heater, man. Two time winner of our Saturday back tournament. to back. Who would have thought? I remember the I remember the that that first time he won. I was like, "Wait, Ryan, you don't play tournaments?" He's like, "Oh, I hate them. Wins I, it. I hate them as well. But I, when I play them, I don't win them." Mines between Jonas and Carlos. That's fair. We gotta give prop to OFC because I love I love the penguins. Yeah, that, that's super cute. Can't go wrong with us. Nice little play on word there. Carlos gonna open this up for sure. I'm so glad Carlos is trying to work this into the game, man. If you saw him maybe like six, seven months ago, he'd be lumping the ace kings. Oh, really? Lumping the ace queens. Um, really glad to see him starting to open up and uh, play a little more aggressive pre flop. Jonas going to flat the ace queen? Wow. Okay. Oh, actually, we're getting word from 
from uh, Cooper that, you know, Carlos actually only started playing poker during the pandemic. So the fact that he's playing these stakes with these types of players, I mean, that's Very off impressive, him. yeah. Wow, he's going to flop the top of the pairs with top kicker here. Jonas here in a world of hurt. Jonas electing not to three bet against the early position open. I like that decision, actually. And that's uh, great awareness from Jonas. Uh, you know, I'm sure even in the three hours he noticed that Carlos does not raise that many hands. Yeah. And you know, in the case that he is beating Carlos, and is going to get max value? Say like his hands like Ace Jack suited or something. Yeah, like true. That. Safe Probably turn card. For gonna the have to call down though. If I'm Carlos here, I think I'm just going to keep going with the half to three quarter pot size bet um, you know, all the way down here. It's like a thousand? Eight hundred. Shade under. Shade under. Great price here for Jonas, but just based on his body language, it looks like he already doesn't like it. Like he's already a little bit of concern maybe about his kicker. And he found a full with the eights, so you never know. I mean, there's no way I'm ever folding this turn. Absolutely not. Hall with one oversized chip. Ooh, check of clubs. Does bring in the front door clubs and can't be either player's favorite card either. Some cards do make two pair now. And just based on how I know Carlos, I imagine it's going to go check check a lot of the time. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. You know, say if I had the king of clubs, I'd be more tempted to go for some thin value. Um, but, you know, not having a club, I think it's a fine spot to check back. Don't put yourself in a tough spot. Nice hand for Carlos. Yeah. This <laughs> is Steven, <laughs> right off the bat. Oh, man. It, it, actually, that's another person I want to see back in the booth. Is, I, I didn't get to commentate him last time, but I think Kirby got to bet with, uh, commentate with him. I mean, he gets some great oh, insight. Oh, I bet that was a lot of fun. He yeah. has some great insight. And uh, me personally, if, I wanna, if I'm going to commentate him, I want to just know about, like, his like whole overbet thought process. Because, man, he is, like, the, like, the master of overbets I've seen on yeah. the stream. Yeah, I played a long session yesterday with Franco. Yeah, that ready. guy is, he's always overbetting. It's very difficult to play against. Yeah, he plays a lot less than I than he used to, but you know we see you see him every now and then. Well, we've been playing it together quite a bit. Uh, later at night, though, not really your time of day. Yeah, I'm a day shifter. Yeah, <laughs> I can't do it, man. I can do it for like a couple of days, and then I always just your, your schedule just goes wide, yeah. right off the rails. Kiln turns open under. And Carlos has top pair. Gonna bet close to pot here. Definitely gives Surge a lot of draws out there. Some dime, yeah. some hearts, <coughs> some straight draws. So. Oh, and it looks like the uh, stats got reset. So okay, it, it, it showed you want us to be only up 1,700. He's definitely way up more than that. I got he, he, he got the full double against uh, Z06. You're not a car guy, I take it? Oh, is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a uh, Corvette, I'm pretty sure, like 90%. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not. Yeah, okay. So. That, that, that shows how much yeah, I know. I, I, I know so. you have a Camaro, so. <laughs> I do, yeah. Closest I'll ever get to a Corvette, probably, but. Yeah, Come it's on, a Corvette. You gotta shoot for the stars, man. You gotta. You, you know, you can't stand I, two five I, all the time. I you gotta actually, shoot for that yeah, ten and a quarter. You, you gotta shoot for that Corvette. Yeah, I, you sound like <laughs> some people that I talk to oh, really? all the time. I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> you're content with where you're at? <laughs> sure, yeah. Well, there's Not still. Not content, but you, there's money to be made. There's right? still lots of room to improve as well without. In, going up in stakes, I think, so. 
Danny's got. I a think that's some words of wisdom there. I mean, you know, some people might be like, "Oh, I got that 20k roll. I'm gonna hop up to the two fives. Like, well, before you do that, you might want to, you know, fix some leaks, fix some, uh, um, you know, try out some new strategies at the lower stakes where it's a little less detrimental to your uh, roll. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah. Because the time to test out strategies is. You know, at the lower stakes, where there's you can, always your roles you can handle it. Always time to move up. Always time to play bigger. Take a shot. Nice hand there for Danny. Also, another thing, because the the two five game here is uncapped. If, whenever I want to play bigger, I just increase my buy -in. I just oh, increase yeah, my buy -in. So I used to buy him for a thousand. Now I buy him for two. So. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. And you can kind of table select what kind of 2 five game you want to play, right? It's Absolutely, like, well, yeah. don't want to just play a thousand max, 200 big blind, 2 5 game. There's some tables that just stay at that all day. Now, do you want to play, you know, thousand big blind, 2 5? That's there for you too. Depends on who's in the mix, man. You know, I'm down for whatever. And they tend to congregate, which happens a lot. They'll, they'll congregate on table nine, table 14. Uh, you know, the Stevens, the Dannys, uh, the Francos, they'll, they'll be all be at that same table. Always trying, the 30s. To, trying, yeah. to, trying to duck some of those guys, man. I'm not trying to play with them. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. They, they yeah, tend to congregate. So they, they want to be able to play bigger, play deeper. Jay putting in the squeeze. Although, again, this is... A little bit smaller, given how much action is ahead of him. Uh, it's yeah. going to work out, though. It's just going to get heads up action from Jonas with the six high, some live cards. Oh, wow. He's going to check. I like that decision. Yeah, great check here from Jay. A lot of times you see players just oversee betting on board textures that are not really favor good for them at all. Yeah. yeah. It's just this is an absolute worst board texture for Jay to continue betting with. We'll make the call, which you know it's that's totally fine. But yeah, he was getting a really good price, so uh, not having any clubs makes it much much more likely Jonas could have a flush draw, but if Jonas bets here I imagine Jay will let it go. <laughs> yeah, probably. Looks like he's going to go bigger. 1,200 or something. 11, 12, 11, 1,100? Yeah. 100 to go, and Jay was just ace king high on a 3, 5, 7, 9 board. Cannot be loving that. Yeah, we're just going to have better hands. We're going to have over pairs, ace king of clubs, yeah. blah, blah, blah. It's a good card to show. If you're just now joining us here tonight, welcome to Wednesday Night Poker, 5, 10 and a quarter action. This is the continuation, part two from our Tuesday night stream. We're streaming for the next two hours. It's already been an hour already. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. I don't know. For, I'm, I'm sure you're the same way. For me, I mean, I can talk about poker all day. It, it, one of my passions for sure. And, um, you know, I, I, I hear it from Hayden and Danny uh, and um, a few other players. Like, man, how do you talk about poker that much every day of the week? You know, four hours a day, it's like, oh, I just love poker, man. It's, yeah, it's easy absolutely. when you enjoy it. You know, it's, it doesn't feel like a job, obviously. And it's the life for me, that's for sure. Carlos with Kings, you're going to make it 250. Daniel going to defend the King 9. Oh, wow. Going to flop the nut flush draw. A side board, Carlos cannot be loving it here. <laughs> Yeah. 
the nuts for Daniel. Probably not going to get any action, which sucks for him. But yeah, say that ace was a uh, like a ten or three or anything under a king. Uh, might get a little more action from Carlos, but pretty strong here to bet on this board texture here. Tough to be bluffing. Yeah. I like his decision to go bigger, though. Like, you know, our opponent can have It, it allows you to have bluffs occasionally and then fold out um, some pocket pairs that don't contain an ace, obviously. That's right. Oh, it's okay. I so when was the last time you actually played a tournament, Harris? Uh, the last time it was here. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> they had they had that big mystery bounty. I didn't play that one. It was the big one before that. Like the summer. I think thing. it was like a four hundred dollar buy in. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I I, I think I walked in the room. And I was like, wait. I like I saw you at the table. I was like, what? 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 Yeah. Well. It took up it took up all the tables, so there was no there was no cash. I didn't have a choice. They forced my hand. Yeah, you're like four hundred bucks here. I, I, I buy it. Oh, this is an action hand here. Jonas gonna raise the one fifty. Done with the pocket queens. Both twelve k effective. Here comes the big squeeze. Seven fifty. Cool. It was one fifty till now. Messi came waiting with like kings here. Okay, <laughs> the natural eight. You a big Baccarat guy? No, no, oh. not at all. <laughs> I just like to say it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, as Ben Miney, he, he dealt Baccarat. Oh, yeah. okay, I did not know that. <laughs> or he, he, he used to at some point, but. Gotcha. Man, I mean, it's pretty pretty early position open and a, a three bet from the blind. So Jonas has to know Dunn has something pretty strong here. Match will go for the four bet. Probably like <laughs> pretty small four bet, so you don't really need to go that large. Like 1600. Yeah, 1800. Pretty, pretty much the same. And we're too deep to get it in here, so Dunn probably just gonna go with the call. Yeah, if, if, if maybe if it was like cutoff or button uh, versus big blind, he could maybe go for the five bet, but given that it is an early position open, I just like to call here and evaluate flop. Yeah, I'm usually pretty reluctant to fight about the queens. Yeah, you don't have any relevant blockers to the nutted hands. And, uh, oh, no. <laughs> 10K effective here, and both players with over pairs to the board. Could see a big one here. Jonas, probably going to bet quarter pot. Thousand, eleven hundred. Mm -hmm. A little bit over, a little sure. bit over, but right. I mean that's pretty much the same thing here. Close in this enough, case. yeah. Dunn can do nothing here but call. Uh, you know, is there much merit to the the raise here? I don't, I don't think so. Probably you only not. get called by better, and you're going to fold out all the ace kings, ace queens. So I do like a call here from Dunn. Oh my gosh, this is just not the run out to save Dunn's stack here. Jonas here, probably going to win a big one. Yeah, two flush draws on board now. Probably going to bet again. You know, stacks as an hour getting kind of awkward. Uh, how does he size this to make a reasonable jam on a river? I mean. So only 8.8k effective, 6.3 in the pot, mm. like 2,700. Like it, it'd be sure, yeah, like half. You pot don't need to go that big. Leaves uh, almost half on river, I think. 27, 2,800. Oh, even smaller, yeah, smaller. Okay, so he he is trying to make you know a reasonable jam size on the river. It looks like it's going to be about 6.7. So, Dan will make the call. Looking for the last queen in the deck. Jack of hearts. Wow, that might be an action killer there. Um. I mean, he did set it up now. Yeah. 
I... I mean, if he thinks he's weighted towards overpairs, uh, you know, kings, queens, then there's still probably merit to jamming for value. Especially if their hand contains a heart. The like kings with the king yeah, of hearts. Yeah, I mean... Jonas probably not even four betting tens or nines, so he basically is almost top of range. You know, he's got some ace high flushes and stuff like that, but I imagine he's just going to jam. I mean, he's going to go for a size that's not all in. <laughs> like, a, like a blocker okay. bet? <laughs> I kind of like this. It's like he knows exactly. He knows exactly where he's at. Yeah. He, you know, he coolered some kind of overpair here. This and really sucks for Daniel. And, and I guess this leaves this room for folds if Daniel jams, say, his nut flush or like a set. No, nah, there's no way he can fold even if Daniel jams. Oh, yeah. Well, Look at the price. Yeah, yeah, that'd, yeah that'd be there's insane. no way. Six spot here for Dunn. Overpair to the board. You know, it doesn't have any heart in his hand, but you know, even if he had the Queen of Hearts, I don't know if that'd be a relevant blocker, uh, considering it is a four bet pot. Could that be a hit? That's really distracting. <laughs> when you're in a big pot and somebody starts screaming across the room, I can't stand that. Done deep in the tank here, getting an insane price here, right? But, you know, what is he beating here? Ace King off with a heart. But, I mean, I guess why would Ace King bet like this, though, right? They'd, they'd probably try to go for max fold equity if they did, right? So that, I think that might be what's concerning the Dunn is like, oh, it, feel, it feels like a hand like Kings. Ace is going for some value. Wow, great yeah, fold, nice. great fold from Dunn. Yeah, I, I feel like the jam, it, obviously a lot more polarizing. and. So sick fold. Great fall there from Dunn. <laughs> Jonas putting on a click tonight, man. Kinda did the what we we uh you, I guess you thought jam. I thought my you might cut, might check back, and then no, he went for like quarter pot. <laughs> what a play there! I mean, that really separates the. Uh, uh, funny, uh, Steven says, "What a river for ace jack off." I suppose that's another four bit bluff that he could have. That might bet that river. Ace hearts. Sure. Yeah. And also blocking a rivered set of jacks that Daniel would definitely also show up with. So. <laughs> Just based on what I've seen from Jonas, I don't think he'd be four betting ace jack that often. I, yeah, I, I think I saw him do it with ace queen. Pretty, pretty low frequency, but it could still be on there. Looks like there's pizza available. I might go grab a slice real quick. Yeah, yeah sure, back. go ahead. So in Chicago, we have a thing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Make, make me a cake and uh -huh. bring it somewhere. Little, 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 little bitty hands. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they hit that one. What is that? Yeah. Yeah. Two or two? Yeah, two five. 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 Yeah, and I don't, I don't know how German it is. That's the thing. Like, Danny going to open the pocket like sixes. Got to take it down. Come on by. Oh. $25. Hi. Uh, 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 and uh, got to stay frosty out here. <laughs> right not that I want, like not that I want to yeah. act like I'm trying to help when we're giving money to people. I'm really trying to avoid this. I'm like, oh, yeah. We do have another rule. How did this first? That's your, uh, that's We got to play the show one like out there sometimes. Thank you. On the street, it's like, oh, yeah, you can see it anyway. Praise the 150. Look for the players, it's fun. Oh, yeah. Danny going to open the threes. That's true. Well, no, I'm getting it in my earpiece here. That's good for me. And Don gonna three bet the jacks. Maybe we can get a little redemption here with the jacks after that cooler. I was gonna get folds around. Danny, gonna check out if he gets the right wide odds here to set mine. Probably so. 300 more to call. My problem is it slides right out. Definitely the right implied odds. Yep. I know, but I'm not mic'd up. That should do it. Well, you don't come to the screen. It's just that sticker stick in the background. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't want to hear the viewers. Yeah. Yep. None of that. You're still next to my We have a new dealer coming up. There goes Amber's two hours. Tell the great two hours there. And there's another flip. Should be another action packed next two hours of our stream. Where's that pizza from? I have no idea. You're the second person to ask me. I was like walking through. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty tasty, I'll have to say. Shout out to Cam for the pizza for the crew tonight and all the players. Yeah, we got a second. We got another dealer here, third dealer of the night. Um, we'll be right back here after these short messages regarding our bad beat promotion this month. Y'all stay tuned. Have you been naughty or nice this year? Well, don't worry. We're not checking our list twice this holiday season. Because at Texas Card House, it pays to be playing poker with us. The naughty or nice bad beat is here. Under the tree, you'll find a jackpot starting at $20,000 that rises each day. With the qualifying hand getting easier and easier to beat. No one goes home with a lump of coal. Instead, everyone gets cold hard cash in your stocking. Everyone checked in and playing at any Texas card house wins $100 when the Naughty or Nice Bad Beat hits. Sorry, Auntie May, your fruitcake can't compare to the Naughty or Nice Bad Beat. Spend your holiday season with us at Texas Card House and win. The Texas Card House Naughty or Nice Bad Beat is here. That's right, our Bad Beat jackpot is back here at Texas Card House. Currently at a jackpot of $35,000, quad sevens losing to a straight flush. That Bad Beat jackpot goes up $1,000 every single day. The minimum qualifier goes down a hand ranking every single day. 
and once the minimum qualifier gets to aces full of kings, quads can then be beat, beat, beat by quads. Should be a fun night. Oh, and also, if you're just clocked in at any Texas Card House location, when that bad beat gets hit, you get a free hundred dollars. Hard to beat free money. Actually, the last time the bad beat got hit, I was in here playing. And I was like, oh, nice. Steven says he's a wrap. So Steven has a straight to the six. Somebody's got a flush. OFC with the jack high flush. I think that's going to do it. I can't see who's I can't tell who's dealing. I think it's Kevin Shannon. Oh, it's Kevin? Oh, cool. You know, I was wondering why he was giving up his shift tomorrow morning. Um, makes sense if he's on the 10 p.m. to midnight shift. Maybe he's got to go to the mall and be Santa or something. He's got the hat on and everything. I need you to come in clutch for me. He wants all your money. I want all your money. He wants you to pay for his lifestyle. Shout out to Kevin. Oh my God! Do you see his beard? <laughs> he could be a mall Santa. Shout out to Kevin. Love the tie. Love the ornaments. Super festive. Jonas going to open the Queen 9 suited. Danny going to flat. Let's see a flop. Not much to flop for either player. This is a fun turn. Jonas double gutted. Yeah, double gutted with a over card that's still alive. And Danny with top pair, top kicker. It's going to over bet. I think against the over bet, all we can really do is call. Oh, okay, he's going to get there. How about that? I was going to say he could probably bluff a lot of rivers because he unblocks all the flush draws that would call turn in full river, but probably going to bet pretty big. Almost pot. <laughs> Danny beats a hand like Ace Nine of Diamonds. King Queen of Diamonds. Again, unfortunate for Danny, he doesn't have any diamond in hands. He does have a spade, but yeah, I guess that's yeah. that's the only saving grace in his hand right now. But it's a pretty strong hand, pretty strong hand here. Probably just gonna pay this off. 
Uh, obviously, like, 9-7 was already straight on the turn. So I guess he has to think about whether Jonas would bet that sizing with his straight on that I mean, turn. Jonas probably going to bet 9-7 on the flop a lot, though. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, so not, he, I guess get, you're given the action on the flop. Oh, yeah, he was a pre-flop aggressor, yeah. So he'd, he'd definitely be betting 9-7 on the flop. Hmm. He removed that combo. I mean, wow, the ja the jack of clubs really is wow. just. Wow, it go. I love it. He said he made a ridiculous fold. It was a little snug, but, you know. Good fold. It's a tough table, man. His tournament win. Uh huh. <laughs> Sick needle from Steven. You catch any of the I think they're discussing the uh, WPT World Championship. Yeah, sick tournament that the win put out over there. 15 million guaranteed tournament. They still have their mystery bounty. They had to like a women's championship. Uh, shout out to Dusty, one of our uh, tournament regulars here at TCH Dallas. Got made the final table and got third place for over fifty thousand dollars. Wow, good for her. I played some, uh, played quite a bit of cash with her actually. Yeah, she plays a lot of two five I know, and then plays a lot of tournaments here. Yeah, super cool to see a lot of uh, you know familiar faces that we know from the card room run deep in tournaments and do really well. Yeah. Got kings on the button. Nice spot the way you go with kings. Oh, Ooh. wow. That would have been a. Would have had some action can. there. Yeah, Maybe probably. even a three bet or four uh -huh. bet. Yeah. Probably so. Every time I go to Vegas, I see so many people from TCH. <laughs> I went for the I went for the series a couple of years ago. You gonna go next year? You're a big tournament um, guy, right? I'm not a huge tournament guy. I definitely prefer cash, uh, but I I want to go play some of the mixed game tournaments. Well, you can do both while you're in Vegas. You can play cash and uh, and, play and, some and it's it's not even in the WSOP too, because like during the series. 
They have a lot of like four hundred dollar, five hundred, like more within my price range for tournaments. Sure, yeah. Four hundred dollar, five hundred dollar mix game, like eight game mix at like the Venetian or at the World. Okay. I know Resorts World has a lot of mix game tournaments. That's that's what I nice. want to play. Because like, I, I'm not gonna lie, fifteen hundred dollars, a little bit out of my price that's range a lot of to money, fire man. bullets into. You know, yeah. It's, we um. We played a mixed game over at the at Resource Worlds like a year and a half ago. Me, Leon, and some of the other guys. Oh, really? Yeah, when we were out there. Apparently, the mixed games there are pretty good. Oh, a quads for Danny. Uh, done. Probably going to call again. <coughs> Top boat on the board. No reason to fold just yet. Be interesting what this river card brings. Wow. That sucks. Danny about to get paid off here. I don't know. I think Dunn can find the fold. He found the fold with Queens. Oh, it just depends on the size. <laughs> he's like, really? Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, he's just going to pay it yeah. off. Can't blame him for that. Yeah, unfortunate night so far for Dunn. Uh, Danny finding the the quads and getting paid by the boat. Nice hand for him. Yeah, I, I really want to go. Uh, me and Julian have been talking for like close to a year now. It's like, oh, yeah, we're going to go World Series next year. We're going to go World Series. Is this I don't know. Sure. Just I, go go for like four or five days. That's all you gotta go for. I'm worried I'm just gonna get disappointed. That's my one of my concerns. But I, I know the World Series is like a different animal, right? It's like going to Vegas at like any other time, might you might get disappointed, but it's like it, was, it is it the was series so much the series. Fun, man. Yeah. It was like the best thing ever. You should, and I, di I didn't cash in a single tournament I play. I still had a great time. Okay, yeah. Hearing that from you, and from someone that doesn't play tournaments, and yeah, I'll, I'll you got it. Yeah, and they're fun. super soft, especially like. They, they had like a $500 tournament with like a 10 million guarantee or something. Right, like right, that. right. The 500, like the big 50 uh -huh. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. The big 500. Dude. <laughs> You're missing out if you don't play that. That's all I'll say. Yeah, I'll definitely have to look into it. Danny trying to show down these fives. I'll take it down. He's on a heater, man. <laughs> you ever been to a gun range? I have, yes. Why do you ask? Uh, well, this is kind of weird to talk about, but I I am going. Okay, so, so for me and Harris right now, we're still on Tuesday, right? I'm, I'm going to the gun range tomorrow with Hayden, Kim, and a, a mutual friend of ours. Okay. Uh, cool. Their mutual friend invited me, and then I was like, oh, Kim, by the way, like I'm going to be there with y'all. And she's like, oh, yeah, it'll be fun. But it would for, for the viewer currently, it would have already happened. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just curious. It's an indoor one. I mean, I I, I come cool. from a Boy Scouts background, so I've shot guns before, obviously. What kind of what kind of guns are y'all shooting? Oh, with? just just 22 and uh, okay. shotgun and just, like uh, 12 gauge shotgun. Only tip I got for you: pull it in real tight to your yeah. shoulder. Because I'm sure. If it, if it's not in there tight, then when it goes off, it's gonna it just slams. Yeah, yeah. it's very painful. Be a part of the butt stock. Don't be the stop. There the you butt go. Stock. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I totally Kilma, get that. Kim not squeezing the jacks here. And that's going to come back to bite her. Top pair for Steven. That might have something to do with the fact that every single player on her left covers her. <laughs> sure. Or, or, or not, not covers her, but could put a significant blow to her stack there as Mr. Lewis is going to find top two pair. Jonas is still again. up under. Jonas oh, going to go open under two. Jonas going for the delayed C bet. Yeah. 
Wow, what a spot here. I mean, if OFC calls, now Jay's got quite the price here to hit his open ender. But Mr. Delivery gonna go for the... Uh, Massive check raise. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> All that dead money. Yeah, man, have fun tomorrow. Sounds like a good time. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be my first time and, um, yeah. That's cool. Gosh, Kim calls. <laughs> now, now, now he has to check where he is, right? It's. Uh, yeah, I think so. Four nine. Oh, I thought Kim called. I saw her call. Yeah, she did. Oh, oh, she did call. I thought, I thought Jay called. I guess I thought. I guess not. This what, one fold there. Wasn't feeling it, as they say. Yeah, but. Huge check raise here, and this is, I mean, I don't even know if you could, this could ever be a bluff four ways. It's so strong, right? I'm sure Steven can find a way. <laughs> what, like nine, seven hearts? It's like some kind of massive combo. Sure, yeah. Jack nine hearts. Oh, C. Hands just really not strong enough. And you got another player behind you. Oh my goodness, he's gonna go for it. Yeah, I think a lot of the time you are burning money here making this call, but you know, maybe he had some kind of read and is going with it against Mr. Delivery. Maybe it feels like he's just so much weighted towards. Well, that's the problem though, right? The fact that there's just so much action. Wow, I'm really surprised with the overcall here from Kim. Maybe unless, her, like, unless her hand is I, this right. I was about to say. Like, I don't think she... A four on the river, complete brick here. Would have given... <laughs> would have given Jonas the straight. Oh my goodness. Mr. Lee, we're still top two pair if the cards are reading correctly here. There's no way Kim has Jax this, right? Maybe she does, I don't know. Let's see if Steven sizes down, tries to get a... Cry and call out of a king, or if he goes big. You gonna see the overbet? No, I don't think so. Deep in the tank for Steven. I OC stack. I and Kim stack here. I like this. <laughs> Little over half pots. Oh wow. OC oh, just Wow, this is genius from Steven. Sits down, plays a few hands, and wins a massive pop. Mr. Delivery already up close to 10K. Wow. Nice life. Value town, huh? Yeah, good size from Steven. Got to know that your opponents probably don't have much. Probably cap the like top here, unless they got there with seven six. So I like the size. Yeah. Yeah, your hand's like so strong where like you have to go for that, you know, good size value bet, but it's not strong enough to where like if someone jams over top, it's like, oh, well, they got the set, they got the straight. Oh, so you got a real hand now. Doesn't get any action.
You know, this game's always advertised as a 5 10 and a quarter, but it looks like the $50 trial is just it's mandatory. It's going to stay on, yeah. yeah. Which is awesome. I mean, I, uh, yeah, I love no this. No complaints it. here. Don going to open up the Queen Tom. Oh, so you're going to defend. Gut shots for Daniel. OC was just for high backdoor wheel possibilities, but Daniel's going to motion towards the stack and bolt. I love when that happens. Yeah, really sorry, really sorry for all of the viewers out there watching on Wednesday uh, that we can't interact with y'all, but I hope y'all are enjoying the content so far. And if you get to hit that like button, please hit that like button. It helps the channel out a bunch. And if you're enjoying Harris's commentary alongside me, uh, let us know in the chat, and uh, we'll be sure to have him on a little more often. Super grateful to be here, man. It's been fun so far. I know a lot of the viewers really enjoyed watching you play on that employee stream. Man, that was they had so much fun. Sick plays. That the se the seven deuce bluff there. Ah, yeah, a, man. They they were kneeling me about the V pip, so I had to had to, had to do it to them one time. Yeah. Or oh, it like worked in your favor too, right? It's like, well, they if they think I'm playing tight, then they'll always think I have the nuts. Sure, yeah. <laughs> And I remember like seeing this episode of Sun Joe and they were talking about the convention, you know, about the murder, I think, went to this place. And for some reason that like the image of the of like the storefront was just like always in my mind. And I was I was in New Haven and I was just like driving by and I like saw Kim okay, I'm gonna open up the Ace King suited. I guess the hundred dollar straddles on this time. She opens to two fifty. Steven got a three bet the button. Think. With a cold call, Kim definitely needs to put in the four button. And <laughs> the problem with OC's cold call, he's definitely capped his range here. Uh, it's really hard for him to have. Oh, wow, I'm really surprised she just makes the call here. Maybe looking to trap. It's going to work out in this case. Definitely best for Steven. This is delivery, deliberate as usual. But you know, if he's if he's thinking, he's he's thinking about something there. It's gonna come with like quarter pot. Five seventy-five. He's got some back doors and a gut shot. He may go all the way here, blocking the queen jack. The ace jack suited. Hurt. I, know, I feel like it'd be more likely to do it if like, it maybe picked up the clubs on the turn, right? It's just... Yeah, but you have no showdown. And you have... outs to the nuts. Fair enough. I, I guess from my point of view, is like, what, what could Kim be calling the flop with after a 3-bet? Like... The like king-jack? jack ton okay. of diamonds. King-jack suited, sure. Hands that are gonna fall by the river, king queen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I just wanted to talk through it. Yeah. 
Yeah, Kim probably not going to fold an ace on the turn, but... Oh, boy. I'm looking at the sizes right now. He's sizing it up for a river jam. Correct. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Ali. Um... You know, Kim has a position here. You know, obviously, her hand very strong here. Uh, she raises, <laughs> probably only ever gets called by better, <laughs> and then folds out all of Mr. Deliver Mr. Delivery's bluffs. So I think I, I like it more of a call here. You have a great hand to call. River I like the call as well. I think uh, Steven's definitely willing to triple it off. So... Oh, she's not having it. I think she's just counting her stack. <laughs> I think she's realizing what's happening here. She's like, oh, he's sizing it for River Jam. Yeah, well, you just, you got to hold on. Okay, okay she's going to jam, it. and that's going to do it. But. And to be to be fair, uh, there are a lot of bad rivers. Right. So I understand why you might want to jam. But Plus another 25, right? I'm gonna let Stephen hang himself if I'm ever in that spot. Yeah, you know, especially, you know, hand top two pair, very strong, um, blocking a lot of the nutted hands that Stephen could have there, and then, uh, you know, Stephen, like we've seen in those previous streams, very capable of having just a triple barrel, jack high, nine high, anything, right? Uh, be great hand to just bluff catch with. But then it's tough, right? Say that diamond rolls off on the river, and then he still jams. Like, sure, what do you do yeah. there in Kim's spot? It's like, well, now I don't block anything. He had never has a block and, here. And, well, and these are all additional reasons to just put in the four-bet pre-flop. Sure. To, to to narrow your opponent's range and have it a little bit easier sure. navigation for navigation post-flop. Yeah. Girls here. Just going to call and... Invite Jay into the pot here. Ace King High, the best hand right now. Jay gonna take a stab. And it might work. I like Carlos's decision to peel though. He got a backdoor flush draw on two overs. Against a small size. Makes sense to call. Another another good hand that shows why you want to put on the squeeze with the ace king. Gotta fold out that nine five suited so you can't get bluff post flop. You know, and you know this is still like a like, I guess a good teaching or learning point for a lot of our players here that watch our live stream. Um, you know, I know a lot of our viewers typically play the one two two five uh, area, and you know just watching the live stream, the hands that you see people playing pre flop. Still happens in a one-two-two-five game, so like this, this shows you the strength of having uh, three bets with like your ace king, your ace queen, even like king queen suited type holdings. You get a lot of you know value from worse hands, and yeah. uh, get folds from hands that have a lot of equity from you. A lot of people are kind of you know a little gun shy maybe with their ace kings and ace queens. And, uh, yeah, man, you gotta pull the trigger sometimes. You gotta pull the trigger sometimes, and you know it's it's really about having the correct sizing. You know, I think you know I see people have the right idea a lot of the time, but they just not have a big enough sizing to uh, capitalize on people's looseness. It's gonna go multi way again here. Kim opening the action with the Ace Ten. <laughs> Jack ten or queen check. Well, what am I even saying? King Jack Jack. I think I was looking at Daniel's hand. King Jack Jack flop here. Open ender for done. I'm gonna take it down. Four high, no good. 
Kimmy, if I don't even get a check raise me, I want to bet. <laughs> he was prepared there to fire that all in, I think. Absolutely. <laughs> That just shows you how dangerous of a player Steven is. He's just so willing to throw in, what, like 20K with Jack High? God, Lee. Huh? Yeah, not somebody you want to have at your table. <laughs> Daniel inquiring if he had Ace Queen. <laughs> He's like, nope, 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 no, no, no. No, I actually checked back here for a pocket troll. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It gets weird when they're not four betting the ace king. The calling range ends up being way stronger than you think it's going to be. <laughs> yeah, that almost actually worked out in, her, in Kim's favor, right, for almost a 30k pot. Um, but again, it's just we don't know the cards. Obviously, it's so tough to just not pull the trigger there. Like, well, I know I have the best hand here. I'm trying to get value from weaker holdings. And Looks like don't the, really uh, want to get short stack going to get it done finally. <laughs> All in for 675. Kim here with a pocket pair here. Imagine we'll make the call. Maybe she's considering like a click or something to fold out the people behind her. Yep, and you're right. Yeah. There it is, the click. The old, the old men click. Nothing wrong with that. It's gonna work. Look at the way she reeled you guys in. Look at the way she reeled you guys in. We got a little flip going. We got six, seven to five. One time here, looking for a king or ten. I'm telling you, anytime I have two face cards, that stuff comes out all the time. All right, seven's going to take it. Seven's going to take it down here. Kim up to 20K stack. Z06, Z0, oh, what is this supposed to be? Z06. Z06, okay. Z06, thank you so much for joining us here tonight. It was quite the, quite the game you played here. You should look them up, man. They're nice cars. Oh, well, Gigi's in the chat for Z06. Well, I wish I had a spare 100K laying around, yeah. <laughs> Get a used one, man. I hear those used car prices are coming down. Oh, you're right. Wow. Use 2K miles, 100K. Use... 2015, only 60,000 miles for a 2015. Well, no, that's pretty low for a seven-year-old car. Well, I guess if it was like a weekender. It probably for, was. For 57. I don't like the yellow, though. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't either. For, for those kind of cars, I'm like a, I like the black. I like the silver. I like the, the red. I have like know. a dark bluish gray sort of metallic color going on. Can't go wrong with that. If you're just now tuning in, watching our live stream, this was pre-recorded on Tuesday night. Y'all are watching it on to Wednesday night. My name's Derek. We got special guest commentator Harris with us tonight. Y'all might recognize him from our employee stream. He was in the one seat, battling out with Ryan every other hand. Yeah, man, that guy. That guy's after me. I don't know what it did to him. <laughs> he was after everyone that He's night. He's always honestly. on my case. If you would have seen the, if you would have seen the cards, man, he was after everybody. Yeah, I went back and watched it. Um, really enjoyed Howie in the booth. That was a lot of fun to listen to. Yeah, of course, Howie, a super, super crusher here at TCH Dallas. Plays a lot of our Tuesday night streams. And, uh, you know, anytime there's a big game running on the floor, anytime you see a big game running on the floor, you'll probably see Howie there. Steven gonna bump it up. Make everyone pay time. All the time that would accumulate would basically be like Oh, is so he gonna defend his straddle? I imagine Kim will come along as well.
Kim gonna find a pair, which is gonna be the best hand. Mr. Delivery looks like he has some devious intentions here. We do block some continues with the ace of clubs, so. Makes some sense to bet. And we can wrap a flush on this river. If we so choose. Did you do a watch check there? Me? No, or no. I, I swear I saw him no, check he... his card to do a watch check, too. Could be. Could be a, a little, little randomizer. Could be. It's like half the time here, I'm going to go for it. Half the time, I'll just check back. I think now you might see the overbet. 6K? Nope, just going to pot it. Yeah, this is the uh, scary part about playing out of position against a player. Is that Chongus? Oh my. Let's go. What an appearance. Let's go. I don't mean to take Mr. Delivery and Kim's Thunder here, but a Chongus has appeared. We a have wild more Chungus. Import more important things going on. Oh my god. If y'all loved watching Chungus here take down those Saturday tournaments, I'm going to say this is what he brings to the cash game table. This is awesome. Hell yeah. Great bluff by Steven. Love to see it. Sick bluff. Um, tough spot for Kim. <coughs> yeah, obviously much better hands that she make the calls with. You're going to want queens. You're going to want clubs in your hands. Uh, a three. You know, again, it's occasionally you got to fold the best hand. Uh, from a very good player that I've heard from. If you're not folding the best hand occasionally, you're probably not folding enough. And True that. You'd have to agree with that right here. So it's just, that's just kind of how the nature of the game works. Sometimes you just gotta attack yeah. that table and just say, nice bet, Sometimes nice play. Sometimes you get bluffed, that is what it is. Done with the aces. It's gonna get action from Queen Jack. Probably gonna go Check bet fold here. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coughing so much. I'm not, I'm not sick anymore. It's just the lingering. I have the same thing, man. I don't know. <laughs> I, I must have just gotten over it because I, I got sick. A lot of us did around Thanksgiving. I was, uh, th December 6th was my date. I okay. was like right after Yeah, I got, I got sick around Thanksgiving. Golly. <coughs> probably kept coughing for like another three weeks after that. Um, oh, good to know. <laughs> I feel fine now. I'm just glad I'm not, I'm glad I didn't get sick like during the holidays. You know, and like, I'm that just did happen to me one year. I think, uh, it was miserable, right? Yeah. Yeah, JD, I don't know if you saw in the chat, he's actually sick of the flu right now. That's why we haven't seen him. Oh, okay, I did not know that. Well, I hope you feel better soon if you're watching this, JD. A wild Chungus has appeared, hopping into the 5-10 in the quarter game. It, it, it's so funny, right, because you see you see Chungus play a lot of 1-2 here, a lot of PLO here, occasionally 2-5, hops into 10 in the quarter. He plays every stake level here. He's like a true grinder, right? He, he plays the, place, the best man. game. Yeah, Ryan, uh, Ryan's been one of my best friends in poker for getting close to a decade, so. You can bet small here, like $200. Oh Y'all are, are in sync, so I'm, I'm super excited to see your commentary over, over Ryan here. Yeah, played a lot with uh, Chungus over the years. I, I, I remember him distinctly uh, at Windstar. You know, he always had his backpack over the, the one the one strap over the shoulder. Mm -hmm. At this time, he still had the ponytail backwards cap. Yeah, always, always scoping out the room, man. I, I, anytime I look up, I get like at. at 
nine out of ten times you see him just scoping out the room, looking for the best. Table. I do the same thing, man. <laughs> Every time I show up, the first thing I do is I take a lap take and a look little, at all the two five games. Take a little lap around the office. Don gonna open up the seven six suited. It's cool to see one of our dealers finally hop in one of these games, man. That's, that's yeah. That's awesome. I don't think there's uh, other than like Greg back in the day. Uh, I don't think yeah, he did go for the spin one or two times, I think. But it's a big game, man, for for a, a humble dealer to be hopping in. You know, yeah. it is a big game. Great movie. That is, I think that's, uh, or that's Lauren's favorite Christmas movie. Mine is Christmas Story. Okay. I it, it's just like a childhood favorite of mine. I watch it every Christmas when I, with my family. Gotcha. What's yours? Oh God, I don't know. Let me think about it. I'll get back to you on that. There's so many of them. Uh, yeah, I know. Elf is a solid one. I like these. Elf is a solid yeah. movie. It's a contemporary song. It's she now like made, a classic Christmas. Movie. Look it up. She has made fifty-one million dollars since that song came out. Just on that one song. Jay gonna put in the squeeze. Okay. Cool. Unexpected from Jay, um, especially with a holding like this. But I like to play. I like I, it. I just want to see I, a I little bit bigger size. I was just yes. about to say. But I like where his thought process is going for sure. You want to have hands like this that can flop really well and, uh, you know, very disguised um, against stronger holdings. Yeah. And you can't, you don't, obviously, it goes back to you don't want to be so predictable all the time. Sucks that we don't, we don't fold anybody else out, though. <laughs> you know, and this would have worked out beautifully, I think, if you managed to, you know, maybe get a heads up against, like, Danny or Kim. He's uh, going to go for it anyway, and it might. Value bet, man. Oh. I mean, it's going to get a fall from Kim, I think. Well, yeah. she is. She's Back got, for spades. She's got two players behind yeah, her. So this is going to end up making Danny fold the best hand. Very reluctantly. But. Yeah, Jay does have backdoor diamonds, so you know, if he picks up some diamonds here, would be a good card to... They continue barreling. Now Kim finds her backdoor spade, so unfortunate for Jay. It's going to be tough for him to get Kim off her hand now. Oh, no. I see a good check, check here, I think. Back when they used to, you know, let kids play outside. Okay. You know, commit mortal harm against We got to give up now. Sure, they're criminals, but you can't go like flat them in the face with a lead pipe. I don't know what Steven's talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was like, what? <laughs> you can't you can text us. <laughs> the scene where they like walk up the steps like barefoot, like in tar. Oh, yeah, dude, that one all over the place. And they're just like nails and. Did you see it? Family decent places to Getting the urge to play, watching the stream. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Probably not time I, tonight, but I, I always want to play after I watch. But it's like that's like when I'm like expecting to be back home, and it's just like so late. I'm like tired usually. It's yeah, I gotta go out of town uh, Thursday morning, so I'll try to squeeze in one more session tomorrow. But yeah, I actually gotta wake up early tomorrow, so probably probably shouldn't play afterwards. For me, at least. Kim gonna just call here with the Queen Jack clubs. You can see our game runner Mallory in the back corner there. Plants of 2-5 it looks like. 
Yeah, she's been uh, putting in some hours, man. <laughs> Here to come queen high, top pair for Kim. If we were ever going to check a queen, this is probably the one, though I can see some merit to bet as well. Deny some equity. Just going to take it down. Nice hand. I feel attacked now because I don't Why? know if you ever played with me or seen me play. That's how I hold my card. I I hold my cards the entire time I play. Uh, I do as well a lot of the time. This is where my roll went. At the 10th quarter. That's what we did the other day at the 10th quarter. So we started at 10.25 and we flip a coin. If it was heads, we put a straddle on. <laughs> I think I said Daniels. I was like, oh, that's insane. Like, just relax. It's not... Nah, man. Cause you never know. I, I guess I, I think one like bad thing happened to me playing in a casino. Yeah. And I was like, I was like oh, never again. That's... <laughs> Kim's got Ace King. I'll put in the flat. Nut flush draw for OSC. Two overs and a gut shot for Kim. Pretty much a coin flip here. Ooh. Spicy turn card. Uh, OFC probably gonna bet again. No, it's okay. Let's see why you might want to check back, not get blown off your equity. Yeah, I think that was a really smart check back there from OFC. Sure, yeah. Uh, and then quick give up on the river. And lose the minimum. Like we have like a billion different Maybe he's picked up on the fact that Kim's choosing not to uh, play some of her stronger hands super aggressive, so he thought that she's going to connect with that high board a lot of the time. Looks like that might be it for Kim. Um, you know, can't really blame her. I know she typically wakes up at like 7 in the morning, so... Like six, seven in the morning. She does have a eighteen month year old. Yeah. Did I say eighteenth month year old? You eighteenth month child. Yeah. <laughs> a young child. A young Got child it. for sure. Yeah, it sounds like a lot to deal with. I could not handle that right now. So <laughs> props. Yeah, I think the same thing, man. Anytime I'm like checking my, my like social medias and uh, I see I have, I literally have classmates from my high school graduate class that have like five year olds. Yeah, and I remember I like, oh God. when I was at Baylor, there were people getting married when I was like a sophomore, if you can believe that. Well, uh, the MRS degrees, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard that before. <laughs> oh, I definitely have. The, with the uh, um, ring by spring. Yeah. <laughs> She's in the chat for Kim. Always a pleasure to have her on the live stream. Great for the game. Yeah, she ordered the pizza, right? Yeah, she did. Yeah, so thanks, shout out to her. Thanks for the pizza. a lot. Appreciate it. I know, uh, you know, a lot longer stream than normal for a lot of these players. So, good thing they had the uh, some sustenance for them. Like everybody's decision so far. Jay gonna turn open ended. Not flush off for Mr. Delivery with a pair. Jonas with a pair now. Jay is the opener, so he's going to. Put in the delayed C button. Steven probably just gonna call, I think. Jay could have a set of aces. Yeah, Rays would seem kind of optimistic, right? Set Just of nine. Jay's representing so strong. Kind of a way ahead, way behind scenario. <laughs> Not yeah, anymore. I'll right. do it. Just the nuts. And Jay with 
eight high. <laughs> Wisely gives up. Although we never win at showdown, so. From my perspective, you know, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna try to turn the bottom of my range into bluff here, I'd want to have some relevant blockers at least. Uh, sure. Yeah. Um, Sometimes you got to put in the air ball, though. You know. You just, uh, Especially against a player like Steven, who's definitely capable of just having some some random floats there. And but Steven had probably, there. probably not three ways though, right? Because Steven had a player to act behind oh, him on the Jonas, turn. Yeah, so, yeah, probably just a good check fold there from Jay. Well, good night, Kim. Have a good, safe drive home. Always a pleasure to commentate on your action. We've got about 45 minutes left in our stream. I know it's gone pretty quick, I imagine, for y'all. Uh, three hours last night, three hours for y'all tonight. Don going to open to 350 in the small one. Chungus has that look in his eyes. Yup. Oh, oh let's okay. go. Probably it's definitely a probably three better fold. You're not just calling, right? No, I yeah. think you can put it in the flat. Every now and then? Okay. Yeah. But it definitely can get weird sometimes when the squeeze comes from behind. What's he going to value bet now? To really hoping that Daniel has an ace or king at least. But Trip's gonna take it down. No, really so I wonder if anybody else is on the list for this game. Is that Safine? Uh, thought I recognized that yes, little stride is. there. Yes, yeah, Safine in the mix. He uh, final table that tournament they just had down in Austin. Oh, really? That's what I heard, yeah. That monthly tournament? The one that was supposed to have the overlay? But I think they... Well, the thing with massive overlays here is just, they tend to yes. just meet the guarantee. Right. <laughs> It's like, oh, we got a $280,000 overlay. Yeah, well, all, all, Texas. Those people, all those people drove down from, uh, yeah. from Dallas. Well, welcome, Safine. Uh, he's played on our Wednesday game. He's played on our Tuesday game a few times. I have played quite a few hours with Safine. Cool to see him joining us tonight. Yeah, absolutely. For the last 45 minutes. I told you, I'm like, man, if three of you guys go down, what a life for Mr. Delivery, huh? Just hops in there. Yep. I'm a cold 9K. I think, like, the first, like, three streams I played on Tuesday night, he, he won, like, 20K plus every stream. It was insane. He did have some, he did have, like, one or two really big lo big losses, but um, it's just insane the run he's been on. Yeah, he's been crushing since he moved down here. And he was a maniac. That's perfect. He literally four bed jam, queen ten into the chip leader. Of course, two bed are days came at the time. And he spikes a ten. And now the maniac has all the fucking chips. 
Interesting hand history. From That's what you Sophie. want, though, right? Don't yeah. you want the maniac to have all the chips? Like, you either. No, I want me to have all the chips. I, I, I understand, <laughs> but it, the next best thing, sure. if you don't have the chips, you want the maniac to have the chips. Absolutely. Then you have the best chance to double up. See what the chip counts there. Thank y'all so much for tuning in this Wednesday evening. Y'all are watching on Wednesday evening. We're currently recording Tuesday nights. It's been a fun ride so far. Got Harris here in the booth with us tonight. It's been a pleasure so far. Yes, it has. Nice to be here. Got a great game. Good lineup. So. <laughs> well, not all of us can just enter once and win a yeah, two tournaments. I certainly can. Chungus. <laughs> I, I think he did one bullet on both, right? I think so, that yeah. That is so s <laughs> Like, what? And he, like, the second one that he won, he was, like, the shortest that going to the final table. Okay. And it was just like. No shot. And then he, uh, he cashed down on Austin, also. Yeah. <laughs> Sick guy. So five blind game we got going right now. Yeah, the old five ten quarter fifty hundred. You know, it's a standard game here in Dallas, Texas. Good game. Did you watch the stream on Tuesday when we had the uh, 25, 25, 50, 100, 200, 400, 800, 1600? I saw that one specific hand, yes. I think, uh, didn't Steven have kings? Yeah, Steven. Or yeah. It, 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 there's one of two ways. Either Steven had kings or there's one that Steven had ace 10 against JD's kings. Ace 10 suited. Oh, okay. For like 25 big blinds effective. So I was like, oh, all the money was getting. Yeah. Made. And it was like such a sweat on that first board. Uh, they ran it twice, and I think Steven flopped the nut flush draw, turned the top pair, and it was like, well, he has every out in the deck now, brick. Yeah. Then second board, he flops the flush draw again, and it just bricks out again against JD's Kings. Don gonna peel one here with the ace of spades. Maybe go for the raise, okay. Take it down. Hi. Nice I I am so angry that the Dallas Mavericks did not even offer him a contract. I don't know how big you are into basketball. I was talking to somebody really. about this but earlier today. I, I'm sure I'd understand a little bit. Let our second best player essentially walk to another team. Are they in our division? No, they're. Uh, uh, he went to the Knicks. Well, at least they're not in their division, right? It's, uh, it's yeah, well, we could really use some this year because we've been absolutely horrible. And the team's dealing with a bunch of injuries, too, so really missing his production right now. Carlos with top air. Ooh, what a turn. Done with the combo. Open ender with the king high flush draw. Jay with the gutter top pair still the best hand for Carlos. Oh, see with the gut shot as well. Gonna come with the raise here. To a thousand, it looks like. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Is that Daniel just chilling the pizza over there? Love it. Wow. Carlson okay. didn't really think about it too long, and then lets it go. And I mean, that's a great result if you can get someone a full top pair. Absolutely, yeah. Nice hand there for Daniel. You know, it's so interesting when you see a table like this with such varied stack sizes. We see, you know, yeah, we had 4, the guy 4,000 up to 25,000. So, like, I guess from your experience playing, you know, the two fives here, you can see a lot of that, right? You see people sometimes buying for 500, whittle down to three, 400. You know, the men's actually 200. No, I understand. So, yeah. I understand that some people like buy for 500, but they'll whittle down like two, 300, or even just buy in for the 200. Yeah. And then you'll have stacks that are 10,000 effective. So, yeah. like, what? I guess what's your way to navigate around the varying, like such varied stacks? Like well, like if that. you've got somebody with a short stack behind you, then you really need to adjust your opening ranges. Probably tighten up a little bit. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, because the uh, potential for you to get jammed on increases substantially. And that's a uh, that's a mistake that I think a lot of people are making. It's like if a guy has, you know, two hundred dollars and you have. You know, some sort of middling hand in early position that you might want to open in a deep stack game. It's probably not a profitable open when you have short stacks behind. Right, and they're, and they're looking for any, they're pretty much looking for any pair we get it in. Like, they see, you know, raise to 20 or 15, get like five callers, and they see pocket nines or eights, they're like, oh, I'm going with it here. Try to pick up the dead money or flip it, flip it with a uh, monster. Yeah, I think there's a lot of money to uh, be made in short stacking. If you're willing to put the time on. Not really my thing, though. I did. I, I have thought about trying to like short stack the big game or something. <laughs> what Tuesday? No. Oh. But maybe Wednesday. Oh, I see. Yeah, you couldn't pay me to play on Tuesdays. <laughs> But you can play for free, Harris. We'll cover all your hourly. Wow, we'll thanks. I'm probably losing like $500 an hour <laughs> against Kyle, JD, Steven, Cashman, <laughs> and four random people. I'm all set. You know, I got to give a shout out, a special shout out to Harvey, man. He, he battled in that Tuesday game, I think, last week. Yeah, man. He's been and playing really well. Played some really solid poker. I mean, some hands didn't really go his way, but they were just like. He was getting hands that no one else was, you know, yep. and, and he was handling it really well. And the hands he got cooler in, he lost the minimum. And, um, you know, I mean, I just remember a year and a half ago I was playing 1-2 with that guy. It's yeah, it's insane to see him go uh, climb this far. I mean, heck, Cashman too, right? He was playing 1-2 with us too, right? Giannis probably going to make it 250 right here with the H-Sack suited. Is Carlos away from the table? I believe so. Oh, okay. What did he have? Nine. Oh. Steven gonna let it go. <laughs> that is not what I thought it was going to sound like. Oh, you hear that? You hear a little jingle? That, that's, yeah, that's uh, Kevin's tie. It's an electronic tie there. Does it make a sound? It sounds like Yeah, I hear I hear something. Oh, I... Yeah. Love the festive spirit here. Absolutely. <laughs> Safine and uh, Chungus right now are the uh, the ones you invite to the you know costume party, theme party, holiday party, and they didn't get the memo. <laughs> yep. I guess Danny's in the mix there too. Did you go to the uh, company Christmas party? You know, I really wanted to, but I was sick. That was the week time period. Oh, I, was I got sick. you. Yeah. yeah, sorry to hear that. I didn't make it either. I think there was a mouse game uh, one night, and then I was playing a long session the other day. So, you know, and I missed last year's too because I did as well. uh, my fiance was sick at the time, and I, I stayed home to take care of her. I got you. 
Man, it's just it's the time period people get sick too. And I, well, really I was is. like, I was on the mend already, but I was like, I probably shouldn't risk it and get either worse, get someone else sick, or yeah. You know, I, I could say like, oh, I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna the Christmas, company Christmas party and not drink. It's like, yeah, right. Like, <laughs> yeah, definitely not. I'm sure it'd be tough too. Sure, there were some people out of the line at the TCH Christmas party. I'd be willing to bet on that. <laughs> I went two years ago. We had a lot of fun when they had it here. Flush v. Flush draw of the different suit varieties. Um, Dunn's got a combo. Make a straight on a nine. Nine of spades would be pretty spicy. Jack and Irv is going to make Jack, sorry, excuse me, King High the best hand. But Daniel was the you know turn aggressor here, so he does have the batting lead. Arrival and Irv just eight high. Imagine he's going to try to go for it. He blocks some straights and stuff. The uh, the nine eight. Wow, nice. goes for the all in. Nice play. Love it. <laughs> can put a naked ace in a pretty bad spot. I'm gonna three bet spot. Uh, you can definitely go for the four bet bluff with K9 suited with bot. I probably would have peeled if I was Jay, but he was dominated, so makes a good fold. It's kind of sick though if you guys watch like the coverage of the way this it was happening during the streams. So I guess watch it like the coverage of the final table. The, they had it on actually. The, the last hand was actually pretty sick, where the guy in position like turns it open, turns just like a naked open end, like no kicker, and uh, like bet calls the check raise and then just like hits like the clean. Oh really? Like open ender, yeah. and the other guys had just like check. He had the jam on the board liner and just get snapped off by the straight uh, guy who had been like sun running. He was like date. I think he was the chip leader at the start of every day starting from day three. Where he was like day three chip leader came in. Sun run, sun run, sun run. Yeah. Came in as the final. Steven always has stories, man. He does. He's a talker for sure. Play. Nothing wrong with that. And then the second place guy. You know, in a game where you typically see a lot of people just kind of keep themselves and, um, you know, maybe listen to music or, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say I'm a, I'm a, uh, and I'm pretty sure everybody except I, I, I come in a bad at this sometimes, so I'll just stare at my phone a lot. But, you know, anytime you can make the game more fun, it makes the game better a lot of the time. Absolutely. We had a lot of fun in the employee game. Everybody yeah, was yeah, talking. That was a good game. Talking a little shit, having a good time. Carlos with a combo. Wouldn't mind seeing a raise. What about when you got to the final table? I was eight or nine out of nine. And how many like you got? Around the same, maybe ten, nine. Big. Dang. That makes me feel really like crappy for busting uh, first hand with my 11 bigs. Last big final table I made. Mean. So I'm going to try to get some value from a flush draw again. Yeah, 
you know, and has the ace of clubs, so doesn't have to be too worried about better aces, right? You know, all the ace X holdings that might float the flop. Uh, for backdoor hard, backdoor clubs, he blocks. So Carl's very weighted towards spades here. King on the river shouldn't change all too much here. King I spade draw might hit a pair now. Should just go check check. Don't really want to bluff at this combo if you're Carlos. You have all. You're block. You're blocking the hands that you want your opponent to have in the spot. Yep. Yeah. And exactly how Harris says, check, check. Carlos like, how did I miss that? Nice hand for Don. You know, if we check, uh, check raise the turn, we probably get it done, though. No pun intended. <laughs> get it done against Dunn? Yep. <clears throat> yeah, I think a lot of times when, when you have the choice between a, a passive or an aggressive option and hold them, you err on the side of aggressive. Yeah. It tends to be more profitable. Just because the, um, just how the structure of no limit works, you just, you know, in hands that where the equities are very close, you could just fold out all that equity in hands where they're like, well, like, I have, when well, your opponent's just saying there, like, I have nine high right now, and they three bet me on the turn. Like, what? Yeah. It, very profitable, the spots. Where a lot of times just coin flipping. And Steven. Mr. Delivery here. So you got to raise it up to about 700, 750. The three betting lot, it's kind of in his MO, and it's not going to stop now. We're going to make it 650. Cool. You know, it's with a strong hand there, but going to let it go. Shafim with a bit of a light open. Going to have to let it go. Got to show one. There you go. Ooh. Close. Got about 30 minutes left in our live stream. Hope you all enjoying the content. All of our favorite players here from TCH Dallas. Got a few out of towners, of course. Local legends. How dare you raise my first out of four blinds, Sophie? <laughs> I have that pretty button thing. You have the puck? Yeah, this. That thing gets you going, yeah. Got the coaster. <laughs> it really is more of a puck than a coaster. At least the, the big ones. We call it a coaster. If you flip it over to the other side, it kind of looks more like a coaster, to be honest. It's more flat. It is more rounded. Yeah, there's a rounded. The white side's rounded. The black side's a little flatter. Carlos not squeezing the ace king, but he does flop the nuts. I can't believe it. He's got a double check. seen a six bet on this. Don't see many six bet jams these days. Like the Broncos like painted their field and, and now I think the TV's broken. I tried a six bet jam as a bluff a few months ago. Was unsuccessful. Was it the, uh, you know, you count on your chips, look at the, look at the player, look at the dealer. I'm all in, call. Snap off. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I know that feeling. That's okay, we got there. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> what was it, like Ace Five of Diamonds or something? No, like, it was way worse. It oh was, no. It was Queens. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was Queens. Oh yeah, yeah. Queens are a bluff at that point. <laughs> trying to get him off of Kings, it just wouldn't let it go. So, definitely don't try that at home. I was just 
playing against a guy who I thought would fold everything but aces. But he found the call of king, so <laughs> good job to him. I wonder if Jonas will go for the no equity pull off here. Yeah, check it back. Nothing wrong with that. I choose to bet like seven, eight hundred, blocking the ten nine. Oh, he gives up. He's high. Gonna take down the pot, man. Very surprising, especially with how we've seen Jonas. Or sorry, excuse me, Jonas. Uh, you know, playing a lot tonight. I, I figured he'd go for at least some kind of aggression on either, you know, turn or river. Especially when checked to. Jay can be sticky though, so maybe he just thought it wasn't gonna get through. I don't know. That's true. Yeah. Don't really have much showdown with King Tom. Yeah, you typically only want to be going with, you know, you know really light, you know, bluffs if. Uh, you feel like your opponent can make this loop hole, Jay. It's twenty year bluffs can be very player dependent. Do you buy the Lakers getting their stuff together? Dude, the Lakers are the Lakers are terrible. I don't want to hear it. I think AD needs to go and join Luca. That's a great idea. That would be interesting. That's Anthony nice Davis on the Mavs, man. He did say AD, right? He did, okay. yeah. Although I would, I don't know. I like Christian Wood. I think they need to give that guy some more minutes and see what comes of that. Oh, he didn't show a card. Got him. So they're doing it. If, if you don't show a card, you got to give the dealer a quarter. Yeah. That's the game I need to be dealing. I, I'll be talking up a storm, distracting everybody. <laughs> talk about basketball. Whatever they want to talk about. You had the fastest hand of the West, Absolutely, right? just, yeah. Swiping every muffed hand. Yeah, when they when they did the last thing, man, Travis, I think, got like 200 bucks just wow, from that. Sick. That's delivery with the Ace King. Jay gonna flap the nines. Seems reasonable. Shungus. Really wants to defend, but I, makes this one fold there. Yeah, I, I like to fold. I could see an argument if it was suited, but um, oh wow, look at this flop. Um, she's probably gonna go check back call. See if we're gonna bet like a hundred dollars or something. Okay, you can check too. Jay has a flush draw, gonna peel one. And he's gonna get there. Not here at the lodge though. <laughs> that sucks. Blocker bet. Blocker bet. And, uh, you know, Mr. Over here has a hand where he can't raise. And you never know what he's going to do, man. I'm wondering what Jay's plan is if Mr. Literally does raise, you know, and that's that's kind of what I stress to a lot of the viewers too, right? If you're going to have a bet, like a lead out like this, like you need to have a plan in case you for all three aces, right? If you fold, well, yeah, you win the pot. He calls. He's going to raise. Okay, yeah, and I, I want to see what Jay has to. Oh, okay, there well, he had about, a plan. How about that? All right, and I'm, I'm glad to see it. He had a plan. Ray, bet small in the river to induce a raise from Mr. Delivery and made the snap call. 
Didn't even want to think about it. <laughs> well, that answers my question, right? Okay. Yeah, I was, I, I'm, I'm glad he had a plan, at least. Because then you're just, like, burning money all the time if you're just, you know, betting without a plan, right? And it's, uh, I'm sure you see it quite often in a lot of... A lot of the games you play. Yeah, I, although I think w with his exact hand, it's totally reasonable to, to bet the river. So. How much does that thing cost, Jonas? Which one? What you're wearing? Uh, guess. It's a good guessing. Uh, I think they, uh, they paid you 30 Price. bucks. <laughs> Four minus 30. <laughs> Price like what? Like, like 60 bucks? That's Gucci. You That's get Gucci? It. Is it actually video games? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he fell for that. <laughs> Valenciaga Christmas sweater. Steven with the Ace King once again. I wonder if Steven will decide to just call. I want one. I have a holiday party I'm going to, and I think I'm going to go in that. Considering how well, early these positions are. I think you can probably mix. You can go either way. That'd be a terrible thing to put in your washer. <laughs> Four bet from Steven. Oh, see. Probably gonna call. Based on what I know about him, he's not really a. Uh, doesn't really come down here to fold. Yeah, gotta, gotta respect him. Yeah, is in position and has a pretty decent yeah. hand to see a flop with. Got a lot of equity. Buying the shirt off his back. Out, gonna out flop, Mr. Delivery. Steven, probably gonna come with uh, quarter pot, I'm guessing. Indeed, that's 625. And OFC cannot go anywhere. <laughs> this is where it gets interesting because OFC has less than pot remaining. <laughs> yeah, and if, if we know that, Steven knows that. And. Yes. Gotta have some bluffs occasionally, right? Yeah. But then, you, on the other hand, you also don't want to just give up. We definitely have worse hands, like ace queen off. Okay, and he, he's just gonna give up. If he's checking return there, he's just gonna give up, I imagine. Trying to get a free river card. Not necessarily, because now we have. Too many characters, in my opinion. That's a nut flush blocker. I don't see OFC fold in this though, even to a jam. He's gonna hate it, but uh. Netflix or what? Yeah, Netflix. So beautifully shot, like it's the cinematography is like. Yeah. Really striking. I like and my wife, uh, you are correct. He is going to give up. And I think OFC would be wise to just show this down. If Steven does have a, a hand better than you, he's he's trapping you and he's just going to snap you off. So. Yeah, four bet pot against Mr. Delivery. You're you're not getting any value from worse hands. Uh, hands like Ace King and Queen, you already have beat anyways. They're gonna fold to a jam. He's gonna go for it. He's gonna go for some thin value. Razor thin. Um, I think if he was deeper, 
um, he would get jammed on for sure. Yeah, punish the, the thin value bet, but only two and a half thousand back here. Mr. Delivery but just has to let it go. Yeah, and it sucks. I mean, well played, it, though. For, for Steven, he's like, ah, oh, I just wish you were deeper. Yeah, nothing you can do against a short stack, though. Actually, yeah, I'm not going to set on the backpack. My entire backpack is going to get Thank you to everyone that's been watching our live stream currently. Really appreciate all the support this holiday season. Hope everyone's having a festive oh, holiday season. That. Oh, wait. Whoa. OFC lumps the Ace King going for the limp raise, probably. And then he gets a button open in the small line three bit. Massive size here. Over 4x here, almost 5x. I'm so annoyed because I know I'm going to be looking like the Clover 7 dudes in my face. Should I just pay the 25 right now? Ooh, if there's a time to pay, it's probably down. King Deuce, King Deuce. Yeah. Pocket King. Short stack loop. Is that why you look that good? I'm going to figure out what's going on. A bit suit to show us what it is. Uh, it all matters. It all matters. Like showing a spade, not a lot. Very suit to show. <laughs> what suit to show preflop? <clears throat> Been a fun game so far. Here's the most of the past three hours. I've been covering this game for about six hours now. It's a long day for you. Yeah, I didn't have to. Uh, didn't have to deal today, so. I think that the, the first episode of our podcast should be about when you can chop in and shit. I'm going to take less. Like I know, literally like I know shit about that. Ever. Yeah, I played the 510 limit mix. I'm sure you saw with everyone last night. On the night. stage, yeah, I saw that. And I played that late, and I was like, you I'm know like, what? I'm just going to take tomorrow off. I'm gonna, I've been playing tonight. I'm probably going to just come in and play it today. Yeah, my friend Jeff was in the mix. Yeah, yeah, I, I know Jeff. the uh, best players out there playing one through the limit. For sure. Yeah. You'll see him hop into the 2-5 the, the games occasionally. Yeah. Yeah. Yawn's getting a little contagious. So sorry. sorry about that. No, no, no. I, I, I yawn first, so I'm apologizing. <coughs> Decide if you're going to play after or not? Um, I don't know. Can go either way. I might randomize. Randomize. Yeah, take a look no. at the room. Walk around. Yeah, so there's only four games, I think. So I'll just go, go have a so look. So is this game to be joined Chungus in them? Yeah, man. Well, there's no seats, so. 
Oh, this game's a little too big. <laughs> Just sword stack it, bro. Nah. I'd rather be deep than a smaller game, personally. Very comfortable buying him for about 2,000, but not 5 or 10. Pretty big jump. Jonas going to bump it up with the Queens. Yeah, Jonas wants a piece of that 39 kicker. I'm about to stake my claim. Yeah, we know it's not showing if you fold. It's not showing. Uh, Safine's not really a folder in my experience, so. And they're both super deep. Probably right? gonna see a flop here. Well, I guess Safine's not super super deep, but I mean, still has some pot to pay for, play sure. for. In position. Can win a big one. And you have the button, so. Oh my. Wow. Big smile with Queen's full. <laughs> I love watching the like the change of facial reaction when someone's like talking in the middle of a hand and then they're like and then like go back into it. <laughs> We're gonna bet really tiny here, but it's not gonna matter. Cause you know I I do the exact same thing right you know like you're like I'm like chatting up with someone that's like walking by it's like oh yeah it's good seeing you buddy and then like I go to the hand and just <laughs> yep <laughs> excellent fold <laughs> disciplined <laughs> fold yes. yeah. wow, with the yeah. nine high nine high <laughs> you know he had backdoor <laughs> spades you know I mean <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting towards the tail end of the stream. Really appreciate you joining us here tonight, Harris. Uh, we'll definitely have to have you on again. It was a lot of fun. Absolutely. Keep Shout out to honor. John, Tyler, Cooper, doing all the hard work back there. Shout out to all of our three dealers. Uh, we had. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Who was our first dealer? Tyler. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Tyler. We had Tyler as our first dealer. Shout out to Tyler for the first two hours. Amber for the second two hours. And, of course, Kevin. Kev Boz in the chat for this third two hours. Six-hour stream. Split into two, three-hour streams each. It's been a fun night. Of course, shout out to all of our floors, our dealers on staff. The cage. Security, <laughs> janitorial staff. You're shouting out everybody. Yeah, yeah I, I do this every time. GM, Mike Williams, Brian Crow, our CEO. And, of course, the stream couldn't be anything without the viewers like you tuning in every single week. Now back to the action as we get into the final two hands here. Safine going to pop, flop top pair. Play a little tricky here, a little check here for pot control, a little deception. I, I like it. We're going to check a queen. This is a good one to do it with. Don. Either way, it's probably only a two street hand uh, yeah. either way. So um, in position, you can feel like you get more value. You get your opponents to just bet into you with a, a weaker holding. I was just going to call now on this turn. And then probably going to look to call some rivers with dumb butts again. Yeah, it's great. Great river card for his hand. I don't imagine Safine falling to any reasonable size oh. bet here. I think dumb might check. I don't know. You know check check on a flop. He's going to bet. He's going to go for some thin value. Maybe try to target eight he's gonna, exactly. He's going to block. A five. And then we just call. Probably 500 more dollars that you know he got out of done here by checking flop, right? And yeah. I, I, and yeah, great hand to buff patch with, and, or get you know pick off a hand that's you know overvaluing its holding. I think it's okay to bet again with nine. <laughs> Is that a reference to something? Yeah, man. Toy Story. Oh, that's right. Come on, man. I haven't seen Toy Story in like 15 years, man. Oh, that's fair. Slack. No, I, just, I, I'm yeah. all, I was only chuckling on about it because like, it just came out of nowhere. It had no context. <laughs> that's just like classic Steven. You know, just, it's just <laughs> if 
if y'all enjoyed Kevin's dealer outfit tonight, hit that like button. I don't know how many likes we have right now, but you know, I'm sure it's not enough. If you've been enjoying Karis' commentary tonight, hit that like button. And if you're enjoying all the action tonight, definitely hit that like button. Helps the channel out a bunch. You know, and uh, it's the best way for y'all to support the channel. Jay can outturn Jonas here, but Jonas does pick up an open ender along with his pair. And there's the straight. And I think that's the first bet we've seen below $100, right? Other than the blinds. Yeah, Jay trying out some uh, unorthodox stuff. Jonas going to put in the raise here. Very small raise. Almost clicks it, but doesn't get paid. Thank you for I was a little preemptive on my, uh, you know, spiel and thank you everybody. I guess we still got another 15 minutes. Okay. Cool. Because I'm looking at, oh, I guess, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because this is pre recorded. Jungus finally gets another hand here. Going to make it 150 to go. Steven. <laughs> I put him in the flat. This is actually pretty light from Jungus. Yeah, from the plus one. Yeah. I was kind of thinking the same thing. I was like. In, on one hand, it's like, well, Mr. Delivery has a great hand to put in three bet occasionally, but it's like, well, he's opening so early. Just get a flop top pair, though. No worries. He knew what he was going to hit. I'd like to see a small bet. 150, 175. Steven has the backdoor everything. <laughs> Gonna see a turn. I think Danny's gonna get out of the way now. <laughs> He's like staring at Steve's like, but I was yeah. gonna float. <laughs> <laughs> <It's like> yeah. <laughs> Interesting turn. Chungus <laughs> might be worried about. Jack 10, taking the lead. I think Steven's got a good hand to check back with. Yeah, and this is a Badoogie turn card here. Four suits on board. Uh, tough for him to even get value from any, from any draws, right? Yeah, it's Steven can try to pick off a river bluff. And Chunk is probably comfortable to go for value, but he wants to try to pick off a bluff from Steven. You know, and right now, Chungus' hand looks exactly like eights or nines. So let's see if Mr. Delivery decides to go for some thin value to try to target one of those exact holdings right now. And it, obviously, Chungus has a great hand to just call with, and that's exactly what we're going to see, I think. Yeah. It's probably just a snap call from. Yeah. Well, not, not yet. Oh, just no, he's, he's going to call, yeah. Can't blame Steven for going for value. I have good hand. Good hand. Better hand. A nice little pot there for Chungus. I don't think there's anything wrong with either play on either street. And uh, yeah, absolutely well played by both. Nice. <laughs> 
Man, I, I wonder. I wonder how Brian does it, like mentally, because like you know I've seen him play a lot of one two here, and you know like winning, you know like eleven hundred dollar, or getting no winning like a two K pot in one two is like a huge, you know. Yeah. Or even a thousand dollar pot. You know, it's a good. It's a great pot. And then going from that, and then just like oh, eleven hundred dollar profit in this game is like a standard pot. That's like a they they check flop and or they check turn and then check back river too. It's like. We're not checking back river, but like pretty small bets like, all around. It's just wonder how we adjust like that. Yeah, it's tough to jump between different stakes and different games too. You go from no limits to PLO. Yeah, you listen PLO too. I mean, just I like consistency. I think it helps me perform better. But it's good to be flexible. You know? Obviously, he can do it all. You know, I mean, we, we've seen him win two tournaments yeah. back to back. We've seen him play. Oh, we see him play PLO on the floor. We see him play 1 2, 2 5, 10 and a quarter, 5 10, 25. You ever seen those uh, commercials about the most interesting man in the world? That's Chungus right yeah. now, right? Yeah, 100%. There was no game too small or too big for Chungus. <laughs> he says he doesn't play tournaments, but he wins them anyways. I need to try that out. Maybe the more you say that you don't play tournaments, the higher chance I'll, you have to win. I'm going to say it from the mountaintops. <laughs> You're like sitting on like half a million at like 2K big one. You know, I don't really you know, play tournaments that often. It's just like stacking mountains. So many flops I could have stacked on. No way you're pulling that Steven, the straddle police, is going to get the uh, double straddle put on. <laughs> so we got some German lessons going on. That's never a good sign when you when you hear German at the poker table. It's not what you want to hear. <laughs> I, I heard the funniest thing from Chungus uh, one day. I was I was you know, what he calls in the place deal. European card house. Is no, no, no. <laughs> well, I'm sure I, that that is hilarious too. No, but it actually is in relation to that too. Um, he was at the you know the podium looking for a table, and uh, you know he was asking, "Oh, is there any one, two, or two, five games open?" And uh, you know we have one two currently, but we also have a two five. You like that? And then the, he he's like, oh, what table? And then she told him the table, and he's like, oh, well, I don't I don't speak Swedish. That's fine. <laughs> that was like, well, there were there was a uh, pretty large group of yeah, there was like five or six of them. The all super nice guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, played a lot with a lot of them. I'm sure they'll be back soon. Got two mystery hands here. Queen's still the best hand among the known hands. Carlos and Daniel with the unknown. I guess we could play a little game of uh, guess the hand. I think Dunn flats, flatted the small blind, so he could have like a set of fives or a set of sixes. Maybe some straight or some plus draws. Pair plus straight draw kind of thing. Danny gonna fold the queen, so he definitely thinks that Dunn can have some strong hands. <laughs> Maybe we'll get to see a showdown. Turn brings a one li or river brings a one liner. To a four. four. Yeah, I don't think Dunn's gonna have many fours when he flats the uh, the small blinds. Yeah, the, the fours definitely weighted toward. Oh, I mean, even maybe. Carlos might not even have that four. Many fours that often. Maybe pocket fours. But Dunn can have a lot of other stronger hands. Very fun here as we do not know Maybe either nine, place eight. holdings. 
It's going really big. Pretty polar Stanley's here. He's got, 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 got a set or maybe 9 8. Shows the nine of clubs. Yes, one great card to show. Huh. Nine. Who knows? Seven. Who knows? Seven clubs. Yeah, I don't Does know. he even bluff clubs on the river? We don't know. Nine of clubs. And we'll never know. We'll yeah, never know. Eight nine makes sense. Eight nine was the nutter butter. Ten nine was not. Dude, we had him right where we wanted him. And all the way. Nine of clubs. I was I was hoping there was a chance he would just muck. It was. <laughs> Jay v pipping away here. 43% v pip. As he's away from the table, that's uh, boss status right there. Oh, I recognize him now. I play with him quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. He he had like the whole hat and jacket thing going on earlier. I couldn't really tell who he was. <laughs> Got a big hand here. Ace queen. Chung is in the mix with the queen jack off. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go four ways. Wet bandits. I don't know. Yeah, what was the Home Alone's another good Christmas movie? That's that was a good movie. It's been a long time since I've watched it. Uh, Marvin, here you go. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. Oh, oh, wow. He had it to the whole time. He's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him some time to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin, what was it? Marvin Harry. Marvin Harry. Uh, Marvin. Yeah. <laughs> what a name. What was the name Marvin? Like, I think 36 years. <laughs> no, that was actually the last guy. Yeah, that was, yeah, the last of the Marvs. <laughs> no more. What a great movie. So good. The last of the Marvs. <laughs> Who's got to get stuck? Who's, uh, who's making the Hail Mary? Hail Mary. I'm going to send you some up stuff. You want up stuff? Yeah, that sucks. I'm going to make you up stuff. Uh, you make it. It's going to be miserable. Don't going to open a King Egg suit. I was doing okay until I went with a hero hand. Oh. Big flop here for Carlos. Very under repped here. Turn some outs. I like the check back. Front door diamonds do come in. Carl's was still the best hand. Aces and sixes with a queen kick. You're going to go for some value. Going to over bet the pot here. Polarizing, but nothing for Daniel to call with. I'm gonna show the ace. Kevin, I even 
What, what do I got to say to convince you to play a Saturday tournament here? Uh, give me a free roll and I'm in there. Well, <laughs> a, any, anything but that. <laughs> yeah, you're drawing pretty thin. A free roll for 80% of your equity. <laughs> I will not be in. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. I will not be in Dallas this weekend, so I will not be available. Well, there's no there's no tournament this weekend, anyways. Or oh, do they cancel it? Yeah, for the holidays. Okay. It's Christmas Eve. Um, oh, that's right. The next uh, next one will be on next year, huh? New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve, five hundred dollar fifty k. I believe I'm scheduled on New Year's Eve. But we don't. Yeah, because like someone's about to dunk, someone goes up with the block. It's like nine times out of ten. Indeed, I am. You can catch me dealing that tournament. Yeah, they tend to schedule all the people that are either scheduled, you know, a few days a week or, you know, much to my chagrin. But it is what it is. Yeah, if you feel a sudden urge to work on a Saturday, please let me know. I will, you know, I respect your decision, you know, and your, and your uh, offer, but uh, I re again, respectfully declined. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> shocking. <laughs> Carlos picking up the nut flush draw to go along with his pair. Danny has a gutter ball. Two live pair outs. <laughs> I'm not going to get there. That'd be a great play if the field wasn't so ugly. He's going to give up. And Carlos probably just going to check behind. I'm not sure if he's bluffing or value betting. And, if, you know, if that's the case, you definitely don't want to be in that position where... Um, you know, either the commentator or you yourself is unsure if you're actually value, betting for value or betting as a bluff. You know, in my opinion, I think this hand is perfectly fine to check back with. Plenty of showdown value. I think when Danny checks twice, I think so. Like, maybe you lose to a queen or, you know, pocket tons or something, but still going to be a lot of hands that just give up. So. Yeah, and, you know, hands that, uh, that very high possibility that Danny could have, like Jack-10 with the Jack of Diamonds. Uh, yeah. They never call you anyways, so. And you open up, you open yourself up yeah. and bluffed off your equity as From well, those so. exact holdings. Yeah. Yeah. On the tail end of our stream, <laughs> thank you to everybody that tuned in this Wednesday evening. Hope you all enjoy the content. Chungus with the ace queen. I think we're on the last couple hands here, and okay. Chungus here with a big hand. Quickly fold around to the straddle. He's going to take it down. <laughs> Chung is like, my bad. <laughs> Chung is one of the most generous tippers we have in our room, so I'm sure he's got no problem paying this the, the bounty. Last no limit hand of the night. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Harris has been a pleasure. Hope yeah, you had a good time. Really enjoyed it, for sure. All right, do they do a flip after this? Or? Yeah, they're going to do a flip, but I mean, we're pretty much going to tune out at that point. Cool. And action nights. Uh, sorry we couldn't interact with y'all in the live stream chat. I know that's a lot of y'all's favorite part of the stream here. And on the last hand, Safine gets kings. Let's see if we can have a big one here to end the night. Any aces out there? Any queens? Any ace kings? No, no, no. Okay, Dan got a good hand. Okay. Mm. Scary board for Safine. I don't like that 
Yeah, I wouldn't like it either. Good check. I like that turn though. Uh, now he's just telling lies. Check, so check. Sick. How do I pick this up where I should have had the 200? I checked. Hard's good, though. Hard. All right, nice sound. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll end the night. Nice in there for Safine. Oh, Carlos giving it to OFC. <laughs> <laughs> It's a nice Christmas gift. Yeah, that's a cool. That's a cool gift. You can't really wear a sweater with your own face on it though. Yeah, it's well. a little, little tacky, a little tacky. All right, we're gonna end it with a flip. Got the hundred dollar flip here. Thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. Thank you to all the players for playing. Uh, you know, some of them played all six hours. While it's quite, quite the stream for some of them. Uh, all of our three of our dealers. Tyler for action tracking and dealing. Yeah, I hope everyone has a great uh, holiday weekend, of course. Um, those of you that are traveling, be safe, of course. I know the weather here in Dallas is going to get up into the uh, – or down into the low teens, so it'll be quite cold. So everyone stay warm, please. Chungus with the 7-5, the Scoopy. Let's go. Nice everyone that. stay safe out there. Stay warm. Uh, I know the weather's supposed to get pretty gnarly on Friday and the, into the weekend, so watch out for the ice. And uh, let's go Mavs and Stars. How about this weekend? Yeah. Huh? Let's try to get pull out two two double wins. I think the Mavs play at Minnesota tomorrow. So. And then Mavs on Friday against the Canadians. So, again, Harris, was a fun stream. Thank you for coming along. And uh, y'all have a great, great evening. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Are you ready for a vacation that will make all your poker buddies jealous? Set sail with Texas Card House for seven days of sun, fun, and poker on March 26th to April 2nd, 2023. Sailing out of Galveston, Texas, the Royal Caribbean Allure of the Seas is one of the most awarded ships in the world. As you sail for seven days with Texas Card House with stops in Roatan, Costa Maya, and Cozumel. Sun, fun, and oh yeah, non-stop poker. Texas Card House is bringing their world-class staff on board for seven days of cash games, tournaments, and no matter your skill level, we've got games for you. Texas Card House Poker Cruise, Royal Caribbean, Allure of the Seas. Cabins are going fast. Don't get left in port and miss the vacation of a lifetime. For full details, visit TexasCardHouse.com.